What's up, everybody? Welcome to Flaker 2. No easy buckets. I'm Andrew Schultz. I'm here at Akash Singh, uh, Real Life Cast, yep. Alex Media. Eden is not in the building today, um, but we have a special guest. You have a special guest. We have a special guest in the building. Very special guest. Uh, none other than not SNL Shane Gillis <laughs> is here with us. Yes. Uh, some of you probably have known uh, Shane. He was quite infamous, I would say, just a month ago. Mm, yeah. You reached infamy. When you had uh, quite the scandal, you you got the job of uh, of a dream. I don't know if it's exactly your dream, but we can get into that. Mm -hmm. um, but you got someone's uh, dream job, which is being a cast member on SNL. And uh, of course, the cancel culturalists did what they do, and they they went back through every single podcast and and tweet and uh, uh, in their defense. It was like the first video on YouTube. Fair enough. <laughs> Probably Fair like enough. four minutes into you the first video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In their defense, they didn't really do that much work. Even the laziest guy. <laughs> I love how you want to take away the idea that they're hardworking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't do shit. So. I mean, I mean, algorithms probably, like those cancel culture books probably came up as a YouTube recommended. Right, right, right. <laughs> it popped up. Right so so uh, they found some videos of you saying some um, offensive things towards the Asians, towards the Chinese Asians, mm -hmm. if you will. <laughs> yeah. And um and and of course it becomes this natural controversy because there's an Asian that is gonna be on SNL. Yeah. What's the guy's name? His name's Bowen. Bowen Yang. Yeah. Okay. And um, I was really happy I got the Yang. <laughs> I see you I I I I want the title like, roll, Bob. Did I fucking get it? Got it? There's like three options. There's like three options. He's leading it. He's leading it. Shane has not learned this lesson. It's going to be a while. No, but respect to Bowen Yang. Respect to Bowen Yang. That's my pick for president. That's the guy. $1,000 a month. I'm so hot. Oh, that's the one getting back money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I want you to know. I want you to know. This is very funny. On the way here, I was trying to call him, and I accidentally called Andrew Yang. See, they all don't look the same. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> all Andrews look alike. You know what they say. <laughs> okay, so um, this happens. Obviously, you don't get SNL. Uh, your life gets twist, turned upside down. To quote Will Smith. Um, and now, unfortunately, you're here doing the flagrant podcast. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, how times change <laughs> in just man. a month. I mean, this is better, in my Bro, opinion. It's way better. Way better. You know what I mean? <laughs> but at the same time, the check is not the same. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I bet the check isn't that far off. Really? Uh, from SNL? Well, let's start out with SNL. Before before we yeah. get to all like the crazy stuff. Can I say one thing that you should do? You should call yourself SNL alumni for the rest of your life. Oh, yeah. I mean, you are. Just to infuriate everybody who <laughs> yeah. got you fought. That's what you got. Well, it's really funny if you Google SNL and click cast. It's like me, Adam Sandler, and Chris. Like, I'm one of their most famous cast members. Uh, you got to yeah, ride that. You got to embrace that. I mean, there are people who have been in the exact same amount of sketches as you using that credit. To yeah, this real talk. Oh, they should. Yeah, I'm the shortest cast member ever. The well, shortest tenured. Well, you're definitely more known than a lot of people that have had like zero fucking skits on that show. Right. I mean, those people like they get the you know like they get the featureds at the end. Like, oh, right. I'm featuring yada yada. Where the modern day Tim Meadows is, I'd rather be you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll get into that. But first of all, uh, the, the okay. So there's a, obviously what, everything good, Al. Yeah, obviously there's a, a, a shitty situation that you're in. Um, I thought the shittiest part of it, and you correct me if I'm wrong, but if I was a comic, is the thing that the world knows you about isn't funny. Yeah. Mm. The biggest issue with your the the video, the clip that they start to use, the the, the major one, it wasn't funny, and you're funny. Yeah. Is that is that the thing that's tearing you apart when this whole thing breaks? Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, it's like, first off, it was a two minute clip out of the. It yeah. was funny. If, if you, you know me context. and Matt, mm -hmm. if you know me and Matt, how we talk and us, like him having a strong opinion saying Chinese food is a dishonest cuisine. Okay. It's like, oh, he's goofy. That's valid. He's yeah. funny. He's a, Why is it dishonest? Chinese people uh, don't I know it. Matt's fucking weird, it's but not, he's assume saying it's, it's dishonest because of the nutritional value. He's just a weird fucking dude. <laughs> okay. So it's funny to have oh. him say that. I thought and it was because Chinese people don't eat it. I thought it wasn't like yeah. authentically what you get in China. Yeah. yeah, see, no one knows what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> it's up for interpretation. But then I was sitting there like, 
Get this guy's those, an artist, bro. I was like, get those goddamn ducks out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm making fun of my, st- like, uh, Alex Jones type character. I don't know. If you yeah. listen to the podcast, that clip wasn't that stupid. Now, if you just saw that clip, you are probably like, all right, these guys are just fucking idiots. This is just right. racist. The clip, the clip, yeah. I didn't even think it was that crazy. I mean, obviously, you said the, the word chink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And don't say it anymore. We'll say it for you. We'll say it. No, no, no. Uh, well, he'll say it for you. The thing with the, <laughs> with the the thing that I've always thought about with the word chink is it's it's got to be the least racist word because you can use it in non racial ways and people do. It's the only racial homonym. Yes, mm-hmm. I guess that's what I Isn't meant. Isn't that homonym when it's the same word uh, used and, differently? Uh, synonym. Chink. No, synonym no, 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 homonym. So like you can say uh, a chink in the armor, right. right? Okay. Right. So I think we even said on this podcast, you can say there's a chink in the armor. You can't say there's a chink on the armor. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so like those, yeah, yeah, one yeah. of those is wildly racist. You're like, why are you yeah. describing that guy sitting on the armoire? Yeah. And then the other one is like, oh, we found a way to beat the bad guy. It's a euphemism. Can you imagine, yeah. can you imagine if other slurs were like weaknesses? Yo, son, yeah. bro. Well, we can't say the other ones. What is the one we always use for Indians? Bipti, right? Bipti, okay. but like, and nobody knows Bipti. But it's just like a dollar bit, yeah. about two fifty, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll tell you the real camel jockey in the armor with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Gas, come through with the one we want. Oh, come man. through with the one what we want. The one too. Listen, listen. Come through with the one we want, Gas. <sighs> I was just waiting for my salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> 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 and my sandwich on the way here, but we're good now. But, we're good. but yeah, it's, it is a weird way. But of course, people are going to see this thing, especially. Asians are going to see this thing out of the context of a humor and they're told to look at it one way right they're not told yeah. to look at it as a comedy podcast and look for the comedy they're told to look at it as the racist thing and if someone says hey there's some racism in here you're going to find it mm-hmm. yeah no I, I mean from the start I was like if I saw this clip with that headline I'd be like, damn, that's pretty fucked that's up. Pretty crazy, that's yeah. pretty fucked up. But, so uh, yeah. So no. then, so then the annoying thing happens, and I knew this was gonna happen. We texted about this. I think it was like uh, pretty quickly after, yeah. right? Someone yeah. gri- get, sent me your number. I was like, dude, what's gonna happen is they're gonna build this fucking narrative around you. They're gonna look through everything you've ever said about Asian people, <laughs> and they're gonna try to find a way to make it seem racist. And article after article would come out. And this was what I thought was really unfair. Judge somebody by what they said. That's fine. If you want to be offended, I don't care, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But when they started to take things that you said out of context, right? Like what you were making this argument that it's wrong that you can just make Asian jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. So he basically goes. I mean, it's completely unfair. You could just make Asian jokes and people laugh, and and it it, like it's totally okay. It's true. But they just take the part. You can make Asian jokes and people laugh. It's okay. Yeah, they left that out. They, <laughs> they left, they left out. out. It's totally unfair. These right? are like real news sources. Yeah. yeah. Leaving the, like CNN leaving out a quote that's like, it's totally hypocritical. Uh, but CNN's you can not make biased. Asians. Uh, CNN is totally <laughs> objective. Bro, insane. But it's great. Like you hear Trump say that. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this is bullshit. But then when it fucking happens to you the or it happens to your friend, you're like, oh, wow, there is an objective. There's a narrative. People just want clicks. And the clicking thing is Shane doesn't like Asians. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah, which is. I mean, it's crazy. It's if crazy. anybody would be black people, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Asians are great. Oh, oh, <laughs> great is a bit much. Uh, to be honest. I like to know what to do. Clip this part right here. <laughs> but Send the question up. is, how do black people say noodles? <laughs> I don't know. Spaghetti. Boy, <laughs> well, <laughs> Boy We only know one pasta dish, yo. Alex, what's the one pasta dish all black people know? Chef. <laughs> Boy, RD. No, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is the only. Oh, God damn. I forgot, I forgot you're half and half. <laughs> that, bro. God damn it. Ruin the rhythm. Anyway, continue, bro. <laughs> Look at that. Black people ruining rhythm. That's the <laughs> first. We really are breaking boundaries here, Shane. Oh, yeah. That anyway, was, so, you're, yeah. so you're in this fucked up situation, and I said, oh, you get dropped, and now all of a sudden you get to go on the road and you have crowds sold out. Yeah. Or people are coming out. <laughs> yeah. We're getting there. People are yeah. coming out. Yes, yes. People yes. are coming out to I, see The it. first weekend I did Helium in Philly, but that's where I'm from. But mm-hmm. it did sell out five shows, which was nice. 
Nice. That's crazy. Uh, nice. Five shows is crazy. Yeah, I don't good. care where you're from. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. throwing Sell duck well. sauce on stage. Like, what was <laughs> the situation? Well, there is a funny thing that's happening now okay. because as much as woke people misinterpreted it, there's also fucking yeah. racist dudes that misinterpreted it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be so walking around the street like, yeah, get those oh, yeah, bro. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, yeah, chill. Chill, 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 dude. <laughs> but how do you balance that? Because they're also <laughs> buying tickets. <laughs> I let them buy the tickets for sure. But then during the show, I'm like, shut oh, the fuck up. Stop the like, woo! Like, you, no. <laughs> yeah, there's, they'll, they'll always like scream out like, fuck SNL. Fuck Asian people. No, like, they oh, don't. Oh, no, no, they don't. I've gotten drunk guys after shows that have said, I mean, there's there's always been of this thing. Of course you have. Where drunk guys you. after shows, usually they're coming up to you and being like, hey, you want one you can use? And then it's just something crazy. Oh, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, give us, you're like, you gotta give us one now. You can't. <laughs> what's right, the, what's the, the wildest thing? Thing. thing? And let me put this in context. context. Shane did not say, say this. this. Guys. Yeah. Someone told him that. <laughs> yes. Proper okay. context. Take Proper quote context. From a maniac from fucking Long Island. All right. Okay. I oh, just said cool. yeah. good. Yeah. I was, oh. uh, it was after Governors. I did Governors. If there's any racist and, uh, I enjoy the most, it's the Long It made no sense. He came up to me after the show and was like, hey, I got one you can use. And this is like, you know, I'm shaking hands and taking pictures and shit after a show this yeah. guy just waited in line to tell me this he yeah. was like got one you can use gooks are us like what is that fucking be dude and then he was like hey, you're gonna use it you're gonna use it <laughs> <laughs> i was like well yeah i guess now i have yeah, i have one you use it yeah, yeah. Just use it <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He was right. He was right. He was right. What if he's like a super meta, like Long Island guy? He plays bro, but he's really, he's really subservient with his humor. He's like, no, I'm gonna give him the worst joke ever. He's gonna talk. He's gonna fucking deal with it. I'm not Long Islanders talking. That is big worthy, to be honest. About like, it just makes just establishing how people misinterpret the thing. Yeah, for sure. Now, before this thing happened, obviously, at least from what you're telling us, zero animosity towards Asians at all. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I'm not. Fucking, Just the blacks. I'm not nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not crazy. Why would I? Well, first off, I grew up in no Asians mm. where yeah. I'm from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Sounds no, nice to me. There's no <laughs> interaction. <laughs> Asian, sort of. Hold there's on. no like. So I know. <laughs> what, what is there to not like? Yeah, they have pretty good PR if you haven't met them. They're great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the movies and stuff, yeah, right? look, the look. TV shows. These <laughs> Asians are incredible. The yeah, back man. half of your sentence was very important. Yeah. <laughs> you see one of them take a shit on the street, you're like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. this was not <laughs> any of the movies. This was not in the video <laughs> <laughs> at all, bro. He's uh, pissing on the floor at the they airport. Look, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> I'm in Singapore. Why are you doing this? There's bathrooms everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. I mean, it's just, I, I don't really, you know. I, I Genuinely, this is as corny as it gets to say, I don't really have an animosity towards any race in particular. Right. <laughs> you know, that'd be kind of fucking nuts. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it was funny, and I've never met, like, it's funny to have people be like, what are you, racist against Asians? I don't know. It's just kind of funny. I've yeah. never met. No, I've never met like a white guy who's like, "God damn it!" Yeah, it's like, like that's that's he usually not me. Asians. Usually they're it's a very low group. on the list of yeah. races. Yeah. Like if it comes like the totem pole of racism, it's yeah. like blacks, Jews. No, no, no. You got that. They the, the Jews. true races, Jews. Jews are first. All right, Jews, yeah. blacks. Nobody like, tried to get rid of the blacks. Like, well, they like we can use this. <laughs> 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 I mean, they try. They. they, they. <laughs> They gave it the old, the old college try for a number of years, but Nobody we're tried. resilient. Nobody they ever were resilient, They weren't looking to breed the biggest Jews in the Holocaust. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. Mm-mm-mm. God damn. That was their fear. <laughs> like, they might breed. Oh, what movie did I just see? All of them? <laughs> Okay, yeah, so, so Never mind. yeah, it'd be a, it'd be a wild thing to just hate that one group. <sighs> well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's just funny. I've never even, never even considered like, am I racist against Asian people? No. Yeah, like no, that's not on my. As but now, I, one thing that does now happen, you've reflected though. Yeah. <laughs> Now that, now that they've yeah. taken yeah. SNL well, from you, yeah, yeah. I will also say it's like, dude, accents are funny. Yeah, doing an Asian accent's funny. 
Yes. Doing an Australian accent's funny. Neuters yeah, is nothing to do with this. very funny, to There's be honest. Does it? Neuters? Neuters? Neuters was hilarious. <laughs> was no, no, no. It? I right. thought it was funny. No, it's not that funny. It was a fucking inside joke between, and my girlfriend said it in the Chinese restaurant. In the clip, I'm defending Asian people. Mm. That's so in the funny. clip, my girlfriend's like, ooh, I want some neuters. And we were at a Chinese restaurant, and I was like, yo, chill. chill. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't be fucking around. racist. Yeah, man, take her job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then in the same clip, like I mean, it's crazy. That so they your just girl stop. hates Asians. She too. hates Asians. Mm. <laughs> she just moved to Vermont. And that's she's, why she's the <laughs> real. She's the real culprit here. Uh, the next part of the clip is like me talking about like how there was a Chinese kid trying to learn English mm. on it, like playing a video game loudly next to me. Right. And I was mad that he was doing that, and I was making fun of myself while my fat ass was eating noodles with a fork. <laughs> I'm mad at a kid trying to learn a second language. Right. Like the the. What is how is that missed? In mm. this? Yeah, they took that at face value. They took that at he was actually upset that an Asian was trying to. Learn they didn't English. see the self. Like, Sorry, we're trying to learn English. Yeah, it's like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what are we doing here? Yeah, that's a little bit unfair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any other groups you hate? <laughs> uh, the British. Mm. Oh, I'm with you on that. <laughs> I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I'm reading this book right now about the Irish. Uh, this guy named Thomas Marr, he's this, it's crazy, his life's crazy, mm. but it's about like the potato famine and all that shit. And everything the British did. It was a genocide that for some reason no one talks about. What, what do you mean? The British just genocided white, the... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, was like, I white care folks. about white Come genocide. On, <laughs> we, I, we, don't, no. we don't care about Jew genocide, but that's like... That's we're just not good with our That's just because they give marketing. us loans. Yeah, but we're not. But even before that, like, I don't think white people are good at their victim marketing. No, yeah. no, very bad at victim yeah. marketing. Yeah. Now I also thought about it because, like, every once in a while you'll hear white guys be like, "Irish were slaves too." Yeah, yeah. But we don't live in America anymore. Like th that was in Ireland. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not like it's weird for black people in America because they still live with the same government mm. that had them. Mm. Right. Meanwhile, Irish people moved here and we're, you know, yeah. Just but over Irish. there, there, there's an animosity. Like my family's Scottish; they don't like the English. Yeah. At all. But I think the English did a pretty good job with Scotland. Like, if you look at Braveheart to now, <laughs> yeah, Scotland's really improved. <laughs> Scotland's got their act in order. I mean, they, they got, got a couple guys' heads off. They got some road. fucking roads. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 they're yeah. killing it. They're not painting their face like idiots anymore. Like, <laughs> yeah. Shit is going well now that England has stepped up and got the Scot out of them. And I say this as a proud <laughs> Scot. Yeah, yeah. I love the accent. I love all that kind of stuff. Don't And, and English food sucks. Mm. Oh, it's the fucking worst. But it's kind of food. Oh, mm. uh, but God. Haggis? Haggis? That just sounds disgusting. Oh, I don't know what it is. Haggis, Haggis. So sounds Haggis like- Haggis is a sheep's stomach. Wait a minute. No, that's a- The intestines put a into a sheep sheep's stomach. Intestine. And that shit is white chitlins. Uh, yeah, Dude, that's, yeah, that's exactly Dude, what the Scottish, fuck it is. Scottish are the black- it's Whitlands. The white black people. <laughs> They're the white Africans. Tribal people with the face- but Like- <laughs> That's what we do, bro. Africa, Africa's pretty big, bro. <laughs> Colonized <laughs> by white people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, chill, 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 I'm just chill, saying. Chill. That's our history. There's Fighting for freedom. You know what I mean? No, we see, this is exactly what I was hearts. just saying. Like, white people be like, Irish were slaves, too. Yo, we were some, slaves, too. You run into some problems. <laughs> you know? Nah, yes. I'm not okay. trying to out trauma you. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look. That is the thing to do now is to yeah, out trauma. Yeah, huh? Like, I just, God, fuck, man. And I was going to be my flavoring thought of the week by which the way. is so like this queen and slim movie that Dude, came nobody out nobody likes this movie oh huh? i'm not like i'm just tired of seeing motherfucking movies with like cop shooting niggas fucking uh uh, uh slave movies fucking not all that sh all that black trauma shit like i get it, it's profitable now yeah I get people are making a shit ton of money shout out what's her face um Lena Waith. Yeah. I think she's super talented. I still I still love the Thanksgiving episode of Master of None, but like I'm just like, I'm tired of it, dog. I'm tired of it. Like it looked the trailer looked great. So I was like, there's no way like there's the no way. The trailer looked great? The trailer looked really good. I didn't I didn't trailer, it. it was shot really well. Like the cinematography is like, you know, say what you want about how it's written, whatever. Like yeah. the way it's shot, it looks amazing. Yeah. But I'm just good on fucking black trauma movies for like yeah, well, a good 10, 15 White years. women aren't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right? They still like it. Like, wait a minute. Have you seen, and then they try to guilt you for yeah. like not wanting to watch it or not liking it. It's like, how can you be pro-black? How can you be this, this, that, and not support this movie? I'm like, oh, like, I'm just, 
I'm, t- I'm tired of Can saying this shit, bro. Can I just give shit, you $10? Bro, bro yeah. Like, <laughs> right? Go fund me. I'll just give money to it. Not waste my fucking time. Watching the movies or the I'll reparations. I'll give you the $10 fucking dollars. <laughs> just so I don't Yo. have to get fucking bombarded with these images over and over a fucking again. Yeah. Like, God. Like, I don't... Yeah. There's plenty of great black movies without all this fucking trauma that you can fucking make a shit ton of money out of. Yeah. But fuck. I'm we need the black success movies. We need yeah, the George Washington man, Carver. Jesus Christ. We need that peanut butter documentary, bro. Yo, you know what the actual I love that's made. how you're go to like peanut butter documentary. Proud black guy. No, but we've had <laughs> proud black guy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's like, good. Yo, he's good, Carver, he's good because butter, he's kind bro. of a deep cut black dude. It is. He's not is. super he's not MLK. That's yeah. like hacky. No. Yeah. George Washington Carver is not his like, deep, deep George cut. George Washington Carver is like, like it was written. It's the B side of the album. It was written. Martin Luther King's like a black bro. If that movie was a Amazing, we could make him the most famous George Washington. I'm sure we oh, can. Shit, in terms of legacy, point. right? And in terms of actual, like, outside of being like the first president, like, whose legacy is actually like. Yo, yo. Who's, first who's, of all, do you carry cash? Washington slapped him because the I don't, cash I only, was I only carry, I only carry singles carry cash? The only reason one occasion, cash bro. is because <laughs> we're doing live yeah. shows. If mm-hmm. it wasn't for doing these like spots around the city, I wouldn't have cash. That dollar bill keeps George Washington alive. Nah, he the first, though. Say what? He the first. Yeah. I'm aware that he's the first. Who's the first president of fucking or prime minister of England? Nobody no, fucking knows. Nobody no, if I was in England. We're going to forget about it. And the more shit we learn about George, George Washington. Washington Carver... <laughs> The peanut butter is not going away. Still slaps. Any, we got all peanut the butter, products, cashew, yo. peanut oil. Stuff. You like Nutella. Thai food? Boom. You mm. like Thai food? He didn't invent Thailand. That being said, <laughs> what were they cooking with before? What? I bet no, they were using like... <laughs> <laughs> See, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. Slaps, it's funny. 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 It's Probably using like a soybean oil or whatever. You know what I mean? He didn't Look, invent peanuts. They had peanuts. It's a they plant. had peanuts, <laughs> dog. They had peanuts. They peanut oil. So this is what we do. We do George Washington Carver documentary. Mm. We need to do the positive black experience thing. We get what's his face to play in Black Panther. Julia Roberts. What's his name? Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman. Julia Roberts has to play George Washington <laughs> Carver. Get her in there. Yo, why? Yo. First off, I don't know why people try to act like that wouldn't be fucking a must-watch fucking movie. <laughs> Julia Roberts delivers her most engaging performance ever. As, As Harry Harry is <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yo, Queen and Slim, I'm like, eh, I'll, 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 it's on yeah. Netflix, I'll watch Bro. it. Bro. They should have got Dozo. Jo- <laughs> yes, <laughs> Dozo could have pulled it off, too. She definitely could have. Bro, she believed that shit. Also, Dozo, truthfully, has done more for the black community than almost any actress. Yo, that's, the, <laughs> that's true. That's the, the take. That's the let's ugly talk, no, about it. No, it's true. It's let's facts. talk about it. This is the ugly truth what do you about mean Rachel by that? Dolezal. What do you mean by that? Did she like work with the NAACP yeah. and like help? How did she was like a leader of like, like, like that? Like she worked yeah. up the ranks, was doing yeah. like really good shit. And then they just found out she was white. And then they were just like, no. You out. You, out. you done. <laughs> you out. Wow. It is crazy. I mean, it does out you as kind of fucking yeah. crazy. Which is a problem. Which is a problem. It's totally fine. If like this is the thing that's Genius is crazy. That's what this thing is interesting. Rachel Dolezal admits that she's not black but wants to be and now she's crazy sean king do you know that writer yeah he won't admit that he's white even though we know he's fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, his yeah. brother looks like you eyes, They're exactly so. the same right Always. dude he won't admit it and he's still the top guy <sighs> who's the top guy D Ray, we don't know where he's gone. D Ray in that vest, that gotta go. Uh, we don't know. We haven't heard from D Ray. Sean King is holding it down. Who yeah, else? Is he, is he really? Who? At, name another journalist. God Son, damn. you got me right there. I'll fuck with David D. Name another journalist. Yeah, I'm not, out. He don't got the numbers that Sean King got. I get it. Sean King, dude. Fuck, he really still out here. Damn. Is he a journalist? White people got it good, bro. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I just so, see him on Twitter. This is how little I give a fuck about journalists. Every time you say Sean, K- I think we're talking about Kemp. He stopped playing <laughs> 20 years ago. I honestly thought you were going to talk about Sean Kingston. Like, yo, beautiful girl. Is he doing an album with Antonio Brown? Yeah, Antonio Brown got shot like right next to him, which is like a great rapper tale. Wait, <laughs> yeah. Antonio Brown Hold got on. shot? Yeah, Antonio Brown rapped on this song about how he got shot and Sean Kingston was there. So Sean Kingston was on the song. Wait, Antonio Brown. The wide receiver. The wide out. Pittsburgh yes, Steelers, New York Patriots. Apparently a couple years ago. Didn't tell anybody. 
Got shot. <laughs> I think he's lying. I don't think so. He's, <laughs> he's, he's lying. I don't he think hasn't he proved to be the most reputable <laughs> source of the truth lately. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening. I haven't heard the song. I wouldn't put my ears through that. But um, yeah, I thought you were talking about Sean Kingston. <laughs> no, not talking about Sean. Shouts to Sean King. We has done more for here. me than Sean King has. Um, how do we even get into this? I'm not even sure. Talking about uh, Queen and Slim. Ah, Queen and Slim. Harriet Tubman being trash. Julian Roberts. Queen and Slim trash. Queen no, and Slim. I don't think about... no. Here's the thing. I don't think Queen and Slim is trash. I haven't seen it. I, I can't give it. I just, I just haven't seen it. No, <laughs> I just don't. I just don't want to see black trauma movies no more. I'm, you know? like, I'm it's just with not you. my. I'm, I'm never been into the slave movies. It's weird. Never been into. It's any fucking of that weird. Kind of like, am I yeah. the only one that thinks it's not no, fucking no, no. weird? Trust me. You know also, as a white guy. Slave movies aren't that great for us. Not, either. No, <laughs> it's not like we're feeling great. Why at the would end of you these. go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if any white guy that goes to that it's movie guilt. is trying to li- live, guilt not is guilt. profitable. They're trying to feel guilt the good old days. Prof- they, exactly, that's, it's like a <laughs> no. civil war reenactment. That's what it is. <laughs> yes. They're putting on the fucking costume. They're going there. I, I I swear to God, if you're getting off on those movies, there's something something wrong deep with you, inside dude. you that. I get if you see like Roots. Everybody sees Roots. Okay. They I show don't that, see they, they, show, they roots. show Roots in fucking in, in grade school. I yeah, get yeah. that. I even give you a pass if you saw Django because like you're killing slave masters. Django was fucking Django was fucking awesome. Yeah, but exactly. Django, 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 Django. Django is different. Mm-hmm. Django, I can't think he was like yeah. Django. The only reason why Django, Django was good is because Django is different is because yeah. he's a superhero. Yeah, he wins, right? So he yeah. kills the bad guy. And it's right? just it's just a hot movie. It's action. It's fucking Tarantino. It's shot well. Yeah, exactly. Great one liners. Great monologues. Sure. Like that's my type of shit. Um, sure, but it's there no is something. Show, there is something <laughs> off about. There is something off about these types of movies. But I've realized what it is. I think I understand what it is because the same thing exists for women, right? Mm. There are a million podcasts that women watch that are listened to that are about like uh, serial killers and like murders, mm. right? Like all these like murder mystery podcasts, all that kind of stuff. There's three different law and orders, right? Which every episode is a girl getting murdered pretty much like that, right? And Criminal Minds, a bunch of other shows, just women getting murdered constantly, all about women getting murdered. And I think what it is is Women are told from a young age by their parents, hey, be careful when you go out, you could get raped or murdered. And they're told that every single day, and it doesn't happen. Yeah, my dad wouldn't shut up about it. He's like, you're going to get raped. <laughs> to you? <laughs> every time. Yeah, to all of us. Really? Every, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny to imagine yeah, some somebody saying that you. every single day to a daughter. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, like, you got a great ass. ass. They're going to hit you. <laughs> Someone's going to titty fuck you. That's son. a lovely <laughs> father right there. <laughs> it's like, son, I've seen you getting out of the shower. Boy, you are going to get raped. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, so basically, there's this. Uh, wait, aren't you from PA? Yeah. Wow. And he never sent you that Sandusky camp? No, uh, no, no, no. He didn't care. No, we were Notre Dame fans. <laughs> Fuck Penn State. I was like happy when that, came, when that news dropped. I was like, yes. we, won't, we won't rape you in the college. Yeah. We'll get we'll you in church. church. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you in church, baby. <laughs> Either way, you're getting it. <laughs> so, so, uh, so they're told this thing about the world. It doesn't exist in that way. So they're listening to these podcasts and watching these shows to confirm this idea about the world that they've been sold, but doesn't exist to them. Mm. And I think what happens with so many of these, like these uh, news stories that happen, you know, like um, barbecue Becky or like white ladies, like mm. these me, bo- mm-hmm. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, real right. talk, real right. talk, right. right. yeah. So it's like it's I think you didn't think of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think, and again, I can't speak for you guys, yeah. but. I don't know how many like overtly racist things have happened in your life. I know you've had like the cop pulls you over for no fucking reason. I've been in the car with Alex when it happened. Mm. And I'm sure you have a million of these different things where someone's oh, yeah. kind of following you. But the overt like, hi, I'm a great, I'm a cartoonishly racist person. Mm. I'm going to be racist to you. I bet doesn't happen as much as it's been, t- has been sold to you. Is that fair to say? Overt racism. Overtly, yeah. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, that's the thing. That's why this shit kind of sells so much now. Because so, so what I'm saying, the new is, type of overt racism yes. is like the shit that's under the table, under the table, like in your face, but like you know, right. So just to finish the point, yeah. to finish the point is 
these stories are so sexy to us because they confirm a belief we have about the world mm. that we don't see all the time. Of course. You know right? what I, you know what happens? I watch those movies and like the first five minutes, there's like a fucking take any fucking black trauma movie. I think it was a uh, the, the hate the hate you give. I just saw that a few weeks ago. Son, you fucked right? up. And <laughs> yeah, I know it's wild. And uh that shit is like homework. When you that. watch those movies, when, when you watch that's it's, the one it's with about, Donald Glover and Rihanna? No, that's uh <laughs> that shit on Amazon. Son, ain't no movie with Donald Glover and uh, Rihanna. I think Ava DuVernay, this is an Ava DuVernay <laughs> no, flick. No, this is a Donald Glover and Rihanna movie. Yeah, it was on Amazon. I is he the black again? It. What happened with Donald Glover? Who, Donald Glover? Yeah. He's black? <laughs> bro, he trying. I'll fuck with Donald Glover, bro. He had that, that fucking black trauma video that we all pretended this was This is America? Hot. Yeah. This is America oh. was a fire? I, I, nah, yo. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking I just, about? I, can't, I don't want that from Donald Glover, yo. Uh, this is America. Yeah, I can write a sitcom yeah, and make uh, millions of dollars and be an actor. Mm. This is America. With my wife, my wife and a half white baby, this is America. <laughs> This is lap, I yo. can be woke with Mary White Woman. This is America. This is My lap. name is Donald and I am Black Struggle. This is America. <laughs> I don't use deodorant. I perform for white teenagers. This is America. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, shut the fuck up, bro. <laughs> I, I, I steal Joe from Patrice go, and get I'm all the credit. Donald this is America. Bro. America. <laughs> <laughs> he stole This is America. Oh, gosh. Apparently it was somebody else's song, wasn't it? Yeah, he got all this shit for it. Did he? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I like the song. Anyway, the point I was saying, like, so I, when I watch these movies, the first thing I do Cass, white people is, are talking. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Andrew. Yeah, uh, racism's not real. <laughs> <laughs> racism's not real. Get over it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and clip. <laughs> Send it out. <laughs> to the AP, God damn The super cut of all oh, of If you guys fucked me on this and just had a super cut of just a clip of me being like, Gooks are us. It'd be like, oh my god, they got me. He's back again. <laughs> god damn it. Oh, we just gotta recut all the like, Are you sure that's what you want to say? Maybe you shouldn't. No, I'm ready. I'm ready to talk. It's recuts of just this side of the table. You guys aren't even here today. He's just special one. <laughs> Don't fucking joke about it because people will do that. People are gonna do it. People are gonna listen. Yo, that's the, that's the beauty. Of, that's it's the, the beauty of this podcast. That's the beauty of this show. People are people yeah. know what they're getting they when they know, come yeah. to this show. Bro, we have an episode where Kaz is wearing a MAGA hat the whole episode. <laughs> the entire fucking episode. Not a single, Not screenshot. A single screenshot. Has a leak. Not one. Really? Yo, Not dude, one. This is mm -hmm. we've created the good. last created, bastion yes, of fun so that good. exists on planet Earth. Good. A black it's a safe guy house. Shout from to the patrons Africa, for that. the guy like who took ago. out Jussie Smollett, yeah. literally wearing the MAGA <laughs> hat. Yo, speaking of, what? By the way, yes. my agency dropped me and kept Jussie Smollett. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just so you know. Oh my God! This is America. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, crazy. Which agency? A guy who faked a hate crime. Oh my kept God! His job. Yeah, which agency, yo? Say Over it. Just say I mean, it. Fuck them. Say it. UTA. Mm. Oh, they're yeah. a good name. They're one of the big, <laughs> what, three or whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, they are? Uh, yeah, uh, no, that's a big one. Yeah. UTA is big the thing for that sucks. The thing that really sucks, though, is the agents that I had liked me and I got along with them, but it came from just the Higher top ups. was just immediately yeah. like, no, you got to get rid of them. Jeez. Really? Yeah. Jeez. And who do they, who, who else do they represent? Let's just see. You see, reps a fucking ton of people. Do you know? I bet if we look through, we can find like super racist I'm, sketches they've all done. Who do they represent? I'm pretty UTA? sure. I'm pretty Wait, sure. Wait, don't they represent? They uh, represent Amy? everybody. Everybody. I'm pretty sure they rep Aziz. Aziz. They, they but, rep everybody. And this guy doesn't even know what wine a woman wants. You know what I mean? He won't even ask yeah. what what kind of wine do you like fucking on a date? Pervert. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on a monger. Yo, real talk. On a scale of like Indian raping. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, like when Indians found out about that, you think they were embarrassed? Like when Indian rapists found out about about Aziz's rape, something to drink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't prefer him thirsty? Yeah, they were they were like upset. They were like, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's, this motherfucker's gay, dude. Who treats women like this? <laughs> you gotta take it. The gayest rape. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Son, oh, you don't even rape like an alpha. Beta <laughs> rape. <laughs> Beta rape. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh. Oh, Jesus a little oversized Christ. Metallica t-shirt. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this fucking special too on Netflix. Oh, did you like it? I like this special because he was still same. fucking pissed off and you could tell, but he couldn't be <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard it like in his voice where he was like yeah. You know, trying to act like he's, you know, grown and become like a better person, but like still like underneath, just like, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Like, yeah, I want to show over this opens, shit. He opens addressing it and then he's like, okay, now we can move on and does it special. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But is is it, does he actually say what he feels or is yeah, he I, I don't know. Who knows? No, he sounds I, like a very like, he has like a sincere nice, thing. But it's and, like, also, do, what did he do? Uh, uh, Picked the wrong girl. Brought home a girl. Sound like an awkward like, date. Trying to fuck her. Was, I'll tell you what he did. White woman. That's what he did. A white woman. <laughs> hey, that shit can come back on you, bro. Mm-hmm. Hey, you playing a dangerous hey, game. That's it. You're talking about that's Jenga Unchained right there. <laughs> Every white woman, you pulling a block out of the tower. You get the wrong one, that whole shit gonna oh. topple. <laughs> very true. So a brown woman, you don't think that would have happened? Bruh, the bitch got wine. No. We good, son. We yeah. know what rape really is. We from India. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, now you're fucking around. Motherfucker didn't ask what kind of wine I want. They gave him some wine. Like, can't take that shit to your mom from really? India. She'd be like, sit your bitch ass down, pussy. You should have been his lawyer. <laughs> it's like, when- <laughs> your honor. Your honor. There was wine. This man's a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> your honor, there was wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Says <laughs> here <laughs> 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 it was a 1997 Bordeaux. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Your Honor, <sighs> Seinfeld was playing. Yeah. Isn't that hilarious? Bro, that was my favorite part. The whole, <laughs> do you know he turned on Seinfeld? Yeah, I, I remember that. Oh, now that you bring dude. it up. But didn't he, I swear oh. to God, didn't he do <laughs> no. nothing wrong? I mean, I don't Criminally? For sure, nothing, right? No, no, I don't remember. Wrong. There's a but, but to turn on Seinfeld to get a girl to wet up, I mean, dude, Can you Seinfeld imagine? wine. That's Can my go-to. You go yeah. through Seinfeld. Yeah, either Seinfeld's Seinfeld always on. It's just something yeah. that I know, so I can just like hear it in the clock. background. Can you imagine? It's a clock. Can you imagine <laughs> aggressively trying to get pussy with? Look to the cookie, Elaine. I mean. Seinfeld only comes on during fucking hours. <laughs> when you think about it, like it only comes on at like 11 p.m. You think he turned like, the cable? In the middle of the day. <laughs> I mean, Damn. like, what do you not work at? Yeah, I guess. Seinfeld is only on when you you're fucking. See family. I see Family Guy in the background of a lot of Family Guy's up there. porn. <laughs> <laughs> family Guy's a go-to. You sounded like Stewie right there. I'm more of a Ken Burns documentary guy. <laughs> I like a fast and Say so you put him to sleep like Cosby. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need to drug him. You just toss on some Ken Burns. Put Damn, some right out. <laughs> <laughs> he can't help himself. Yo, just, <laughs> shake it Alex, out. just just for our own, just for our own entertainment, you gotta give us a supercut to plan a Patreon. No, dude, you, you killed me. Patreon, yo. You're killing me. Don't do it. God, bro. Oh, I'm kidding. They put themselves no, to sleep. It. Yeah, yeah, it's no, fun. It's fun. You know what one of these one of these like uh, conservative heroes got to do is go through and cut together clips of every like AOC, Hillary, and just cut it together oh, of them saying some horrible shit. Yeah. And then just retweet it. Just AOC cut it together like and fuck up anything. So if uh, you know if AOC says something like it's terrible that we we treat poor people as if you are less than, and then just cut it up to say like poor people you are less than. Ah. Uh, and then just put that out. Yeah, but it's also what happens with the left. You can't really get them because when they offer an apology, the left takes it. Yeah. Typically. Yeah, but usually you still Normally, gotta, there it, has to be punishment beyond an apology. Usually you lose something. That's the pound of flesh, and then you apologize. And What's then the guy's done. name? Um, that's actually be yeah, because Louis apologized. They haven't forgiven him. No, bro. Did you see what Louis said? Yeah, I just heard this about was that. Hilarious. Oh. Did you see what he said? Uh, Auschwitz joke. Yeah, dude. yeah, it's funny, dude. It was so funny. He's in Tel Aviv doing. He's in Israel doing a like late night show or something. Was yeah. that the context? Mm-hmm. And uh, he goes, uh, guys. I mean, it's tough for me. I'd rather be in Auschwitz than in New York right now. <laughs> and then he goes, I mean. Like now. Now that it's closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, what's crazy about it is he had done that joke before. He had done that Millions joke. Millions of times. He had done Millions that joke times. on uh, the clips that came out, the that YouTube set of governors that came out. Right. He did the joke then, too. The joke's funny. He's like, Auschwitz now. And he's like, do you think people at Auschwitz back then were like, someday they're going to be like selling tickets to get in here. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, there's going to be a museum here. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's funny, funny, man. He's. Exactly. he's I had a Shane Gillis funny. effect with Louie where after the controversy, I was like, I think I like this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Indian in me. Akash never liked Bluey. What? I, I love never Louis jokes when Louis. someone else would tell me them. His ideas are always brilliant, but then watching an hour of his comedy was my Ken Burns documentary. Put me to really? fucking sleep, yo. Oh. I can't finish. It was the first time where I felt that Louie might be for white people. Oh, the show, dog? Because I fuck with Ron. Actually, I started- I never considered it. I was like, I just love this guy. This guy's hilarious. He's for white people, But yo. he might resonate- there's like an angst in him that might just Maybe. resonate more with us. I'm fat. I don't have hair. Whoa. My kids are annoying. That's <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes of cool. a You're literally. Cass, did you like Louis? I fuck with Louis. Yeah, yeah I fuck yeah, with Louis too. Louis. I think I don't think it was like Louis. Louis. Like Louis wrote fucking Pootie Tang. Of course I fucking love Louis C.K. Yeah, but do you all. watch, have you watched a full Louis C.K. special yeah. ever in your life? Yeah, yes. yes. you yeah. finished. I watched all of them. I, I was a Louis C.K. fan. I went to a live show. I went to the at the Garden. Wait, why'd you say was? No, I still am. Right. Well, hey, uh, I like Louis now. Yeah. Drink it on the <laughs> I will say that right to anybody. I yo. saw Louis at the cellar. This is during his comeback. Yeah. Mm. And it's the hardest I've laughed at a live comedy show uh, that I can remember. I mean, I wasn't doing the comic in the back that like does a stupid loud laugh so huh. that the comic on stage yeah. knows. I was laughing. I was laughing like this. I was laughing like... <laughs> Like hand in my face, trying not to distract. Mm -hmm. It was that fucking funny, dude. He's a funny motherfucker, He's man. Hilarious. He's hilarious. Top like five. even the way he I got canceled Bill is hilarious. Bill Burr was like, as smart as him and a better performer, and I fucking loved Bill. I love, I love them both. But Burr's funny. I love to me. them both. Yeah, Burr's Burr funnier is... to me, and I, in my mind, is not close. And then yeah. a part of it was also every fucking Louis thing he ever said. Some blogger would write a think piece about Louis changes the way we look at fat women. <laughs> yeah, that's. I, there was like a. I can't get mad at the fucking reaction. Then, uh, then I know no, that's on me. This is like a me. two or three year phase right before saying. he got busted that yeah. he did start to get like kind of. It came off as pretentious and very like high art and all this shit that did like kind of fucking rub me the wrong way because he was my favorite forever. Mm -hmm. Then there was like a three year period of like everything he said, like he was like, "Wow, oh, this is crazy." I should have yeah. done that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then. When he got in trouble or like all that came out, I was like, "No, he's the best ever." Even he yeah, got me, love, even the way the he got me too is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like, he's jerking <laughs> off on himself. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 he didn't touch nobody. He didn't like, <laughs> yo, that's like, a great way to. That's a great. <laughs> I jerked off on me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like, I mean, granted, yeah, I understand. It's probably you put it in my palm. <laughs> yeah, bro. We gotta do. We gotta do a sketch where we just defend him. Like, <laughs> we listen. Defend every me too. Listen. I'm so in, yeah. like, honestly, he I, got you the Oscar. <laughs> I was thinking about with Weinstein was, do you think he was like, oh, I thought these girls were into me. <laughs> like, like when all these allegations came out, I was like, what the fuck? We were on a date. He was probably, <laughs> trying to tell us, was just like, no, no. We were, you, like, I thought I was a fucking a, pussy. No. I didn't know they didn't like no, me. That is a possibility. That's an amazing yeah, defense. He was, he was probably like, wait, I thought they liked me. They yeah, never were like, they like me, me for me. <laughs> why can't they think I'm hot? So we're basically looking at him like, you disgusting troll. There's no way people could like you. You must have raped. You are too Unattractive <laughs> yeah. for consensual sex. That's what I think. A couple of the stories were pretty. Like one of them was like he followed this chick, this waitress back, and then yeah. she he followed her into like a wine closet, yeah, cellar, and he was like jerked off let's, a plant. Let's give me a head, and she was like, no, and he was like, you care if I just jerk off then? <laughs> she, <jerked laughs> off. she was like, okay. You want to know something crazy? I met her. Oh really? Yes. Really? What did she say? What was that like? What did she say? Did she address the wine scene? I met her pre. <clears throat> I met oh. her pre. Mm. And I remember we were at the, it was at a, a Christmas party from my cousin. And I remember seeing her and immediately jerking off on the Christmas tree. <laughs> so I think I really understand so it's what her. wine's, it's her, bro. It's her. She, she elicited something in the side of you, dude. <laughs> I saw her and I glazed that fucking tree immediately. <laughs> no, no, but she's, she, all jokes aside, she's uh, friends with um, uh, Bill, you know Bill Schultz, the guy was on. Yeah, my second yeah, yeah. Cousin, he was mm -hmm. on like Red Eye and shit. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, they've been friends forever. And he told me, yeah, that was the fucking girl. She's wow. like a news. She's like a broadcaster. She's like really? on like a Fox Jesus. Eleven or something in LA. Yo, jerking off on a reporter is bold. No, no, on the tree. <laughs> it's literally her job bold. to tell people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's your job title? <laughs> Report. Mm. <laughs> The pressure you got. I hope we don't remember this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope it shoots. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, whatever. 
Whatever. <laughs> Don't yeah, whatever. Stop. Go for I'm it. Stop. No, 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 this no, is no. the place You're for in it. The safe space. What do you have for... to lose, yo? Yeah. Patrons? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. No, it's uh it's funny that him and Louie are in the same sentence all the time. Right. Harvey Weinstein and Louie. Because Louie did nothing for those girls. And then me. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that then Louis. me. It, it goes Louis the whole did way nothing for Louis those girls. That's all. such a funny take. <laughs> hear you those girls got <laughs> way <This> is worse. <laughs> I mean, in terms of career, like Louis did absolutely jack shit for those girls. Oh my god, so Harvey funny. did everything. Yeah, but I think Harvey Harvey's was like, a hero. Fuck Harvey's a hero for Harvey those girls. Harvey the hero. That's his nickname. I think Harvey was doing more than jerking off, though. Oh yeah, he was no, he was a little wacky. Up. No, he he was getting wacky. There's no <laughs> question. He was getting wacky. <laughs> he, was getting wacky. <laughs> he was getting wacky. He got a little rowdy. <laughs> but I love, I love, I love they got the that part. They got the role though. They that got the role. Wacky. Like the, that's very important. They got the role. At the end of the day, he delivers the nudes. <laughs> At the end of the day, shit, yeah, and there's nothing nah, you can say about now it. Now you're talking my language. Yeah. <laughs> now I get your point. <laughs> now you threw that in. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna take a second. Um, I need I need to talk to you guys about something. I think this is is very important here. Um, if you are a homeowner, you're thinking about becoming a homeowner. Uh, I'm a homeowner. Uh, getting insurance for your home can be a pain in the ass, but it's very important. Okay, it was a pain in the ass for me. I had to go through several different insurance companies, um, brokers of the companies. It, it was just it's kind of an awful experience, and buying a home is already a very stressful thing. So if you're doing it, especially if you're doing it now, you know December can be a real busy month. Um, it's probably the busiest month out of the year. There is, there is, this, there is this company called Policy Genius. And they basically reimagine the entire process. So you can get the right coverage at the best price. Here's all you need to do. This is it. You head to policygenius.com, answer a few quick questions about yourself and your property. Then Policy Genius will compare your policy against options from top insurers to make sure you're getting the right insurance coverage at the best possible price. They say they save their customers an average of $690 per year just doing that, okay? I mean, that's 700 free dollars you get to do. So if you already have insurance for your home, make sure you're getting the best insurance, make sure you're getting the best price. You know these people can hike up prices, you know these people won't make their prices um, compete with the modern market. You probably locked into some rate three, four, five, six years ago, 10 years ago, and you could be doing way better. You just go to policygenius.com, that's it. They're gonna find you the best rate, especially compared to what you're currently paying. All right, and they'll do all the work to get you switched. Now, if you own a car, Policy Genius will compare your home and auto policies across different insurers, even mix and match to find you savings. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Whether you need home insurance for a new place or just want to shop your current policy, head to policygenius.com today. You can get started on your smartphone right now. Policy Genius. When it comes to home insurance, it's nice to get it right. Okay, back to the show. Oh, um, hey, can I, one funny Louis thing, you know, really won me back over on Louis or won me over what? is when he opened one of his shows after the scandal with, I like jerking off and I don't like to be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I always hate to be Dude. alone, which is even shorter and better. And Dude. I hate being alone. So good. Dude, it's he's, so good. He's the best. He's the best. What, did, what oh, was your opening gosh. joke? Nap, do you still do it? Do you still reference it when you go on stage? Yeah, I talk about it sometimes. Okay, the, the first week after it happened, you're still going on stage. What was your opening joke? Can you uh, say it or are you going to give it away? And no, then, okay. I can say it. I'm not okay. doing what, what it. And they, the, they published it in the fucking USA Today. What was, <laughs> so they, what was they, the opening They line? came to my show and recorded my sets the first... The, Fucking TMZ was there. Uh, I was really? walking into the club hot, and they were like, Shay, Shay, Shay. And I was like, what the fuck are you guys uh, doing here? Yeah. Uh, the first thing I said was I was like, uh, I am sorry. Like I was, um, I didn't mean to offend anybody, but I want you guys to know I am reading all of my death threats in an Asian accent. <laughs> <laughs> so they are still funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, now I talk about how like I'll do shows and I kind of got to address being racist up front. Like, right, right. If I'm, do I'm doing shows, I can be like, hey, everybody, I'm not racist. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I always see like black audience members like, ah, fuck. I mean. And then I run into them after the show and they're like, man, what'd you do? I'm like, Asians. And they're always like, ah. <laughs> 
Asians? They got you on Asians? They got me on Asians. That's fucking hilarious. Um, oh, did you, yeah. did you, the Jews, blacks, and gays will get you out of here quick. The yeah. Asians is... Did you actually want to be on SNL? Um, was it a dream? When I was young, yes. When I got into stand-up, no. Mm-hmm. Because I never thought... I mean, you look at SNL, it's like, that's not me. I'll never be on that. Mm-hmm. Who are they casting? What are they doing? It's not me at all. Right. Uh, and then as soon as like... So they, they my agents asked me, do you want to do SNL? And I was like, no. Then SNL sent me a packet. I didn't even do it. A packet described a writer's, that to A people. writing packet. So, oh, so I'm sorry. You, yeah. Uh, a writer's packet. It's just like, here, write like five, six sketches. You also have not, I talked to a guy who wrote on SNL, and he was like, if you don't know, I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to make him look bad. He's like, if you don't know the fucking people involved, that packet does nothing. Yeah. Right, but just describe what a packet is. So a packet it's, is essentially it's like you write out these sketches, and it, it, it's yeah. like homework. It's like an essay. Essentially, write us ten sketches, sentence. create yeah. three characters, yeah. and then submit everything. They're you basically write the seeing what sketch. you can offer. Yeah, yeah write show. a couple yeah. sketches, and there's you. Yeah, and then uh, I said I just didn't do it. They sent it to me. I just didn't fill it out. Same. And then, uh, then finally, they saw me perform a couple times at like JFL and Clusterfest and all that mm. shit. And they were like, "We just we want you to audition." So. I was like, yeah, I'll fucking do that. So you go in an audition on like the main stage at SNL, which oh. is like, as, dude, as soon as I did that, I was like, I want this shit so bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like as soon as you see SNL, it's like, fuck, right. this is fucking awesome. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, once it started, I knew I got it too. I knew I got it. What do you mean? Like you walked out of the audition saying I killed that shit? Well, that night I ran into Che and he was like, yeah. Because I was like, damn, I felt nervous because my fucking hand was shaking with the mic. What did you do? Can did you, yeah, back, you back up, Oh, back I just up. did five five. Back up. You show up to the audition. How many people are there? The whole studio is empty except for a table of like writers and Lord That's, Michael. That's intimidating. Yeah. Now, how yeah. many comics are there for the audition? Um, I would say six. The rest are like improv and shit like that. Okay. So six <clears throat> comics are there total. Yeah. yeah. Stand- now, they have already done a bunch of preliminary auditions. This is the final audition. And so yeah. you're at the final. You went right. You skipped. I the went line. straight to the testing. <clears throat> okay, mm-hmm. straight to the testing. You go out. You do stand up in front of them. Yeah. Now, a lot of people don't realize this, but doing stand up in front of six people in a big empty studio, it, it fucks up your timing. Yeah. Because you're not used to laughs not lasting that long or silence or no at laughs. a certain punchline, yeah. et cetera. So it can really fuck up your delivery. Do you stutter? Do you forget lines? Did Did it fuck anything up? Um. It was definitely like, it was funny because you're supposed to perform as if they're not there. You're supposed to perform as if the studio is there and there's just a fucking That's camera a weird, camera oh, right in front of you shit. and a camera on the and you're side. you're not getting any laughs. And a so, guy holding a yeah. fucking boom above <clears throat> you. So you're just standing there mm. and you got to pretend the studio's there. And like, I was, I was like, I could feel my fucking hand shaking because mm. of the adrenaline and shit, which hasn't happened since... Since I like started, yeah, yeah. there was that because you also you don't see the stage until you walk in, so they keep everybody auditioning outside in green rooms and shit, and then until you're on stage is the only time you see it. You walk in the room and it's like, whoo, there it is, and yeah. that's the first time you see Lord Michaels and everybody sitting there, and it's like, holy fuck, it's real. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so so when the table would laugh, I was like looking pretending there was an audience and then the table would laugh and i'd be like (laughs) 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 go back to telling jokes uh but i was also told that they never laughed and they laughed throughout my set so i was like so you felt confident that's pretty good and then i ran into michael che later and he was like that was really good and i was like my fucking hand was shaking he was Mm. like you were the most comfortable one by far Mm. and that helped me a lot because i didn't care about getting it right so the whole time I was just like, I don't give a fuck. And all these other, like these improv kids from like so Second much. City in Chicago were yeah. like crying. Yeah. Cause I was they just, can't do I was like, I'm never going to get it. <laughs> it has to be, it has to be SNL. Yeah. Maybe they get into acting, but that's almost even more difficult. We have stand up. We can go tour. We can do yeah. shows. We can make a living. There's other options for us, but they don't. So you go, you do it. Che's like, I think you got it. Che, I ran into him at a uh, bird Luger. Okay. That uh, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you were the funniest Shouts one. Shouts to man. Yeah. 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 man. Kev. He was like, uh, you were the funniest one, but that means you probably didn't get it. Like, he was just fucking <laughs> with me. He was making fun of me. Okay. And uh, so I was like, I think I fucking got it. I think yeah. I got it. And then 
you go, you get callbacks to go meet everybody. If if you get a callback, you go in and meet all the producers and writers and shit. Yeah. And it was me and three other kids that they were all improv. And they, first off, we're sitting there waiting because after you meet everybody, you sit in Lauren's office and wait for like two hours. It's like this intentional, the whole thing's intentional to fuck you up. Yeah. And make you like nervous. Mm -hmm. They try to make you nervous. Like before the audition, to see you who wait, can handle it. You wait for like well, five hours. Did, which is funny. Yeah. But they should, right? Yeah. It's like we need to see who has the brass balls. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be on live yeah. TV. We yeah. want to see if yeah. you don't You're freak out. You're going to be next out. to Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On yeah, live yeah. TV. Yeah. Okay, so if you can't handle an audition with five people in an empty room, you're fucked. Yeah. Okay, so you're in that situation. So anyway, we're waiting for Lauren to come in and talk to us one by one. And they're like, these three improv kids are sitting there like talking about how they didn't like Chappelle's special. Oh, and I was just like, <laughs> well, we're not going to get along. Because <laughs> that was fucking, that was that a really was good great. special. You're crazy. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, well, it's just like, it's so backwards what he's saying. It's just like, you guys are fucking oh, out of control. But anyway, he brings them in one at a time. One kid he just sent home. One kid he didn't even meet. And then that was tough to watch. That's what, fucking what They were like, no, you're good. You can head out. And he it was sends just like, out like a, an assistant yeah, producer. Assistant something. What did he do? Did he like make Asian jokes on a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that would have got him in the room. Uh, <laughs> you think that kid was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is, oh, oh, I guarantee all of them. Yeah. Everybody I auditioned with was like, fuck him. Yeah. Somebody wrote a fucking article that interviewed one of them. And what is like that? Like somebody that auditioned with me that was like, Kind of shitting on me a little bit. Really? It's like, well, you didn't get it. Of course, that's it. why I shit on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so then I go in, and so then he he interviews the other two, sends one of them home, and then I stay by myself for another hour. Uh, and I was like, all right, I definitely fucking got it. Mm. If they're singling me out and making me wait, now it's like, fuck, this is crazy. Go in and talk to him. Lord Michaels is the fucking man. Mm. He is the fucking man. Really? He is the fucking why? Man. What? What is it? Uh. I don't know. He's just a, he's a fucking guy. Funny, charismatic. He's funny. I mean, obviously mm. he's charismatic. I mean, I don't know him. I you no, know but I mean? he like, is. He is. He's just cool. He's okay. just an old cool guy. Yeah. And he, like, I would call him throughout the whole process, and we'd both be like, "Oh fuck, this is crazy." Yeah, right, <laughs> He'd right. be like, "This is crazy." Yeah. yeah. Sure. Like he was. Yeah, I don't know. He was very nice. I don't think it was up to him. Um, what do you say about the conspiracy theorists they're, who are like who say things like uh, uh, they knew that he had. Like, they must have done background checks. They, they knew that he had said this, and they thought it would just be great PR for the show. Well, it was horrible PR. <laughs> it was. Yeah. Uh, and also, I, I know it was wrong. When I got there, they were like, did they vet you? Like, NBC had publicists call me the day, be the day before. Mm -hmm. They made the decision, like, two days before it got announced. So there was almost no time to vet me like uh, that. Ah, okay. They also were like, they only checked Twitter instagram and facebook they're not checking podcasts right because who wants to who the fuck has a podcast shit. nobody's gonna listen to a thousand hours even though yeah. like, like i said four minutes in you would have got me yeah yeah uh so they were like yeah we checked your social media and everything i don't post jokes on social media mm. right like i don't have twitter jokes or anything like that i have almost no stand-up online i had nothing <clears throat> i had nothing online right so they were like yeah you'll, you'll be fine and i was like you sure you guys <laughs> fucking checked everything and they were like why? I was like, well, I have a podcast where I say like, retard. You told them and gay, mm -hmm. and they're like, them. no, that's fine. Yeah, interesting. So you suggested it to them. I did, but I well, I just knew I never said the n word, so I was like, oh, I'm fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. fine. What's yeah. what I thought too. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I have no n words on the record or the f word <laughs> on the record. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Before the taping, yeah. <laughs> and then. Uh, yeah, and I was on the fucking. I got the call from Lauren that was like, "You, we, get, you got the job. You're gonna go straight to cast." Which I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy." Oh, I thought, so you could have been auditioning just to write. Yes. you didn't even know what you were auditioning for. No, almost everybody goes to writing first for a year to watch the show and be around the show to figure out how it works. I was mm. going straight to cast. Whoa, Bro. yeah, he really wanted to use me for because they don't have anybody like me on the show. Right. They don't have a fucking guy that could go on stage and be like, Trump fucking rules. Right, right, <laughs> you know? right. And right, that's right. what they need for the election coming up because right yeah. now it's just Democrats jerking off. Mm. Do you that's, think yeah. if they had you write for a year, nobody would have cared? I think that guy would have posted that, but they wouldn't have fired me. It wouldn't have been a news story, but no. the fact that it's like this kid is going to be on the show, he's going to be there weekly, yeah. all of a sudden it's a But news the guy who did it, 
has like the weirdest obsession with SNL. He like always goes after Michael Che. Yeah. He always goes after Lorne Michaels. Like this guy is obsessed with the show. Yeah. So he would have got me right away writing, but nobody would have cared. Yeah. No, I don't think. Yeah. I don't think. I mean, none of us can name a writer on the show. That's just a writer. Yeah. Right. I mean, I can the general. Now, but yes. Yeah. But the general yes. public is not going, no. Oh my God, get that writer off. I think the general public thinks that the actors on the show write all the sketches. They wouldn't have announced me. They wouldn't have even announced right. it. Does it make so, you right. think this was meant to be this way? What do you mean? The timing of this whole thing. You get this cast, this part, so close to the election that Lauren is like, I mean, obviously you're funny, not to take anything away from you. Put him straight on the show. We can't fuck around making him a writer here. We can use him right away. Yeah. If you were a writer, you're fine. You're still on SNL. You're still making money. You get on the show in a year. You're good. Yeah. It all kind of had to happen this way, it feels like. How so? Like for what to take? What do you mean? I mean, whatever's going to happen. I think right now you told me your Patreon is doing very well. So that's oh, you mean with, a, with my life? Yes, like and yeah, and your in the story of your life. Yeah. Oh yeah. This had I mean, to happen this way. Yeah, it was like every, supposed to happen. This yeah, way. I don't know. I would be a fucking intolerable dickhead if I got it. If I was like, <laughs> fuck it, if I was like, yeah, fuck, the, I would, I wouldn't be here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You guys can call my fucking agent. Just trying to set something up. Uh, so yeah. you needed the humble. Why couldn't get Pete on this? Well, I mean, I was yes. I mean, it helps to be humble, <laughs> but Pete. it helps with comedy. I've always only wanted to do stand up, right? And I mean, the podcast I love, but dude, I that's I, it. I was so, watching you, and I don't want to give away your bit, but I was watching you the other night, and it was the first time that like I. I, I really felt bad about the situation. Like, obviously, I felt bad, but yeah. I knew you were going to be fine. And, mm. and from when we were speaking, I could tell that you were like a, what I mean by a real stand up, meaning like someone who wouldn't give stand up up once they got success outside yeah. of stand up, mm. right? So I was like, he's going to be all right. And he'll, if he's smart, he'll learn how to flip this and like turn this and, and kind of use this. But uh, you were telling, you were doing the joke about your sister being a heroin addict and, <laughs> and having like a kid and a crack addict and your dad being an alcoholic. And I was like, Holy shit, like he was about to like switch like yeah. generational problems <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah, this yeah. show. And okay. then it was take it like yeah. I think the way it was spun is that you were just like some like rich Pennsylvania, like Trump guy that yeah. lost an opportunity. You're not like one of these Harvard SNL guys. No. You're the complete opposite yeah. of the whites on SNL. Mm. Right? Yes. And here was the opportunity to like change everything. This is the dramatic story I saw myself sure. in my head. Here's this opportunity to like change everything and uh fucking taken away, man. Taken yeah. away. No, it I was like, oof. The thing is, is that, yeah, other opportunity like this I mean, you're everything gonna be fine. Be fine. I'm right? not I'm not like your family no, but you're gonna be fine. Yeah, family, <laughs> they're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> they were always stuck in the fucking mud. No, they're fine. They're fucking you know, my sister's got cancer and all that. But uh <laughs> everything's great. I just went home, my grandma Wait, died. My grandma died last week. Uh my sister's going through chemo, doesn't have hair. It's fun, it's fun. Same to be sister heroin sister or <laughs> yeah, 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 no. yeah. Same, yeah. Damn guys. Things are. I shouldn't have said it. Said what? <laughs> neuters. <laughs> neuters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have helped pay for my sister's medical bills, but or I could have got some health insurance. But you know, but I now, think that blogger from Brooklyn was right. <laughs> <laughs> I should quit. <laughs> He's from Brooklyn. Uh, I think so. I thought he was in L.A. If he here, he might he might live there now. Yeah, we're trying to know. beat up comedy writers. Comedy writers, <laughs> yeah, like I hear comedy you. bloggers. My fault, not comedy writers. Yeah, yeah. So if he lives in Brooklyn, I mean. It's a I know brave God, place I don't to live. Anybody. It's a brave God. place nah, to live. Really, I'm sure he's yeah. safe in bitch ass Brooklyn. Yeah, he yeah. not he's not in black Brooklyn. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Well, he's, he's, he's in like vegan Dumbo. Brooklyn. He's in vegan Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. 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 where they moved all the black people out and then complain about yeah, yeah, yeah. what racist people say. Mm. He knows who to pick on though. Like he's not going to talk about any of the hood rooms for sure. And you can hear yeah. definitely you can hear tons of racist jokes over there. But he's not talking about any of the hood comedy rooms. Because you will not live in Brooklyn talking about those dudes. Yeah, they operate differently. You ain't saying nothing about Brooklyn, Mike. You're not saying nothing. Mike, you're not saying nothing about Smokey. You're not saying any of these dudes. You're not going at Capone. Nuh-uh. They will handle it differently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even like ever like talk shit on him. Yeah. But I was just like, he, that's acceptable. Oh, no. That's fuck great. Guys. Yeah, I just don't care. I don't it's just I, I've, I've always said this. Like, I'm not the comic in the room, but I've always said like just somebody who's like, in, like took in culture. Like History will not look 
fondly on these type of people on the censorship who are like on censorship motherfuckers like we always remember the people who like broke those rules and like took those risks and all this and nobody ever remembers like hey oh. remember that guy that wrote that article you are the about soccer like, mom burning Chris Eminem's Rock knees yeah. you are the guys who want to throw Lenny Bruce in jail yeah. you are all those people oh it we does. slapped the parental uh, parental advisory stick on Uncle Luke's album and we celebrate that shit yeah. now nobody talks about fucking oh remember when Tipper Gore was trying to make sure <laughs> yeah. that didn't fucking happen like nobody gives a fuck yeah. you know so I mean you'll be fine Right. That reminds me, though, I do want to publicly known that I think saying I push boundaries was corny. <laughs> <laughs> I am ashamed of that. In the apology letter. Like, I'm a comedian who pushes boundaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucked. <laughs> <laughs> that did suck. Uh, I had five minutes to write that apology. Did you know you were getting fired when you wrote the apology? I knew I was getting fired the whole time. No. So was there a party that was like, fuck the apology? Well, that kind of was the apology. I said, anybody actually offended, I'm sorry. I don't think anybody was actually offended. No. In the apology, I've, I've been getting criticized for a non-apology because it was a non-apology. Yeah, that but, was not an apology. So I would say, if that's the route you're going to go, is there a party that's like, fuck, fuck a like, thinly veiled non-apology. It's like, yo, if you're offended, that's kind of on you. You didn't listen to kind the podcast. Uh, uh, <laughs> two minutes of a clip. That's your decision. Yeah. You can feel that way, but it wasn't that. Well, here's the thing. So... That night, when this whole thing broke, I was on my way to do a show. I got a call from my agent that was like, did you say let the fucking chinks live in Chinatown? And I was like, no. <laughs> well, I, I would never fucking, that's crazy. I would never mm -hmm. say that. And then yeah. I listened to the clip and I was like, oh, I was using like an old timey voice. I was like, man, let the fucking chinks live there. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, that's how I said it. I wouldn't say it for, that wouldn't be a real thought. Yeah. You're making yeah. fun of the character that would say that. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But. So then I listened to it and I was like, oh, it fuck. So then the be whole thing 100 happened. 100 believable with your fix. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And your name. Shane ain't helping. <laughs> yeah. Shane, a country ass name. I really None think it that's it. You just got a racist ass face. I had a yeah. fucking, I had chewing tobacco in my mouth when I said <laughs> I had to dip in during that podcast. Did you for really? Real. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, yeah, you as white as it gets, dog. Yeah, I've been looking for your lips this whole podcast. <laughs> if I was that type, of, if I was that type of black, dude, I'd rob you. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Type. You look like the Robin type. No, nah, you really? don't want to rob these guys. Yeah, he's, bro. A, nah, he's, he's a big dude. Yeah, yeah. Dude, oh, Shane dips. His face, his face fight, is real, real, real soft features around the face. Yeah, but this, nice. he's the guy no. that like comes back with like firemen. Uh, I'll be nah, gone. Farmers, nah. yo, farmers. <laughs> different. No, no coming different. back. There's different whites. You want to rob like the Harvard. You want to rob? Yeah. You want to rob like private school whites? You the kid who wrote the guys. article about him. Those rob are the guys that get robbed. No, you, you beat those guys up. Those guys get punched in the they face. They got daddy's money, yo. Uh, uh, I'd be very robbable. Yeah, I See? wouldn't put up a fight. All you would get is like ten bucks and a can of skull. Hey, it's about the principle. A flip phone. Ah. But no, I, I got to the... All the shit broke out. Fuck, I forgot what I was talking about. The call from your agent. Oh, yeah. The show. Did so, you say then, this? so then NBC calls and is like, we need an apology right now. Or you're fucked. We need an apology that's like, this is inexcusable, what I said. And uh, racism is never acceptable. Like, all this shit. And I was like... I didn't realize I was on the phone with them. Also, it was in a, it was in a group text where it was like... This is inexcusable. And I was like, but I fucking, I, I have an excuse. I was trying to be funny. And they were like, what? I didn't know they were on the line. Also, oh, I thought I was just talking to my agent. Mm -hmm. I was like, tell them to shut the fuck up. I have an excuse. <laughs> and they were like, what? And I was like, well, all right. <laughs> I'm Your agent now. didn't tell I you? To, it was just a phone call. No, I didn't know. It was just That's right. the first thing you say. It's a fucking episode of Curb yeah, Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're on speakerphone, you say you're on speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah. If you're on a conference call, motherfuckers are about to fire you. So, yeah. You say, hey, I got SNL on yeah, the line. Yeah, yeah. No, it's the NBC public. Who's no, his agent, yo? It was 90 phone calls. It was chaos, It's a lot. Bro. It's a it lot. Was, I can see. I can see. It was right. 9 right, That's valid. Do you have a new agent? Did you it was 9-11. No, no, I don't have an agent. So you're booking all this stuff by yourself? I have management. Ah, your management. Yes. Yeah. Your management did not leave you. Management did not. Shouts to your management. Who's True. your management? AGI. Shout AGI. out AGI. Oh, shouts to AGI. Yo, you with Be uh, Becky? Yeah. Becky's my girl, yo. Yeah. Becky ass fan. That's Love you, Becky. Oh, that's what's up. Um, you were with Becky. I was with Becky. I shouldn't have left, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Things worked out. Loyalty. <laughs> Love to see it. So, yeah, NBC's calling and saying you need to apologize. Then I'm talking to other people that are like, you can't apologize. Like, I was like, I can't apologize. Yeah. Mm. I cannot apologize. And then Lauren, NBC calls me and is like, you either apologize now or you're fired. Maybe NBC is not the right platform. And I was like, maybe it's not, but let me talk to Lauren before this before anything goes forward. 
So then I talked to him and he's like, again, he's the man. He's like, no, don't fucking apologize. Like, just give me something in the next five minutes mm-hmm. so I can keep this alive for another day. Right. Mm-hmm. So he was and trying for you. Yeah, he was. Yeah. So then that, that night I wrote that where it was like, I push boundaries and uh, like all that. Yeah. I didn't mind that. I had part. five fucking minutes. I, I didn't want you to do it. But I understand why. If Lauren Michaels is saying, I'm going to fight for you for a day, let me try, just give me something. Out of respect, you got to You do it. it. Yeah, yeah. There's, out of respect, I was on the, I mean, it. I was literally, there was a lady from NBC screaming. Yeah. She's like, why are you throwing this away? All you have to do is apologize. And I was like, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, but if Lauren asks, it's different because he's and I putting really, his. Yeah, I like him and he, yeah. He's putting his shit on the um, line too. Yeah. And if I, you know, if I come out, and he like, obviously believed in you, like putting putting you straight to cast and all that shit, like yeah. he obviously believed in you a lot. So yeah, what do you want to do next? Yeah, uh, Saturday night a lot. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> visit the Great Wall of China. Uh, no, Mad TV actually, <laughs> Living <laughs> Colors is coming. <laughs> <gonna> come back. <laughs> I want to. Uh, I just want to keep doing stand up. I want to, <laughs> you know, put out a special in like a year, mm-hmm. and that's it. Just keep doing stand up. Keep doing the podcast. Podcast doing well. Podcast is doing well. Thank you, Matt Brooklyn Shane's Writer. Secret podcast. Did mm. Matt get any shit? Because Matt yeah. was saying shit was way more wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Matt was Matt's in college. He's studying right now, so he got like his school was like. How old are you? We kick him out. I'm 31. Mm. How old is he? He's getting his master's. He's 32. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say you a weirdo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, he's I'm 19. Like, I was like, actually, yes, I have a podcast with a 17 year old. Like, whoa. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, what were you saying? No, that's all. He just got in trouble with his school. Like, he had to, they had like because colleges now are fucking insane. Yeah, so when bitches. he got in trouble and they all recognized him in that, they were like, "We need to expel him." Wow. For hate speech. And uh, yeah, he went through this whole thing. Yeah, he's still going through it. Jeez. He's still going through it, where he has to like meet with the dean and shit. It's I fucking know. nuts. I know exactly what it's like. I've been shadow banned on Instagram for three months. Yeah. So. <laughs> really? <laughs> same to same, you know? Same, same. same to same. Same shit. Um, guys, we're going to take a break for a second, pay some bills. Okay. Bills. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew, baby. Guys, remember the days when you were uh, always ready to go? Now you can increase your performance, get that extra confidence in bed with Blue Chew. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Only it works twice as fast because when you have to get it up mm-hmm. and you have to get it going, mm-hmm. you don't have an hour to wait for that pill to kick in. You don't have 45 minutes. You chew it up. It's there in 20, half the time as the other pills. Prescribed online by licensed physicians so you don't go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy. It ships right to your door in a discreet package. Made in the USA since Blue Chew prepares ships direct. They're cheaper than a pharmacy. And best of all, no more awkwardness. Right now, special deal for everybody listening. BlueChew.com. You use our code FLAGRANT. You get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Promo code FLAGRANT. You got to try it for free. Blue Chew. Better. Cheaper. Faster choice church announcements real quick uh matador tour continues um we're gonna be in uh, vancouver this weekend and edmonton okay uh i think edmonton again we're recording this a week early but i think there might be a few tickets left go get them real quick the andrew schultz.com vancouver's up there we've added shows uh minnesota we added to the tour we also got new orleans that we added to the tour more shows coming as well the andrew schultz dot Calm, go get them shits. Uh, we are coming to your city. Go to my website, and I bet you it will be there, or at least somewhere close. So drive that ass to the show. Thank y'all so much. Akash, what y'all got? Uh, December 20th and 21st, you know what it is. Bas- Big Desi Energy is coming to India. We're going home. We're going to be in Mumbai at Habitat Comedy Club. Come through January 9th. Uh, I am at Hilarities in Cleveland. Be there. January 14th, Stress Factory in New Brunswick. Schultz is going to be there. Ed going to be filming. We're going to make Kaz come. He lives in Jersey. I'll be there. January be there. 15th, I'm at Helium in Philadelphia. January 28th, I'm at Tacoma Comedy Club in Washington. January 29th, I'm at uh, The Punchline in Sacramento. And January 30th through February 1st, I am at Rooster Teeth Feathers. Uh, that's, that'll do it. Two announcements. Obviously, do say Palooza, December 13th, Brooklyn, New York. Tickets are flying. Got Cameron, Jim Jones, The Locks, Fabulous, Partisan, Fontaine, Afro B. 
Fivio Foreign, Swiss Beats vs. Just Blaze, Massive B, Where's Nasty, Austin Mills, and DJ First Choice. Get your tickets at DucePalooz.com slash tickets. And uh, if you guys listen to Pandora, I do a great, I put together a great uh, project with the guys Uninterrupted uh, hosting a athlete playlist session for Sirius XM and Pandora. I uh, did interviews and conducted these playlists with uh, LeBron James, Odell Beckham, Lonzo Ball, Rob Gronkowski, Angel McCautry, Dion Waiters, Lexi Brown, Mo Bamba, Draymond Green, Nate Burleson, Shanae Agumake, and Adam Rippon. You could get those at Pandora.com. Download the app. You'll get a free premium trial as soon as you get it. And we're back. Mm-hmm. Um, Shane. What's up? Thank you for coming on, man. I'm glad we actually got to do this. I'm glad that you're doing yeah, a podcast. I know it was yeah. a, a minute before you got on. I saw you on Legion of Skanks. I think that was when I realized, okay, he's out there. He's talking. Yeah, man. He's talking to the folks. Yeah, I wanted to take a minute because also, like, I, w- I didn't want to do serious conversations because mm. it's it's kind of fucking embarrassing, especially, like, like, they, like CNN wanted to talk. Fucking Andrew Yang wanted to sit down and talk. Like I remember these- you saying that Yang wanted to talk. Yeah. yeah. And then whatever happened to that? Because I thought that... I told you be careful with that one. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Seem like it. a setup. Seemed it like could a setup. be a setup. No, it wasn't. He he's still nah. getting shit for it because he publicly was like Shane should keep his job. Yeah, he knows uh, what he's doing. He's trying yeah, to tap into yeah. the. Centrist. I mean, he also works for SNL, so it's like the same thing. He's the newest <laughs> cast. Yeah, you know I mean, but but he, he but he he was using it as not using it, but no, yes, he's using it. Yeah. He's using it as an opportunity to appeal to those people that are a little disillusioned by trump but they don't like the elizabeth warren so these kind of like baddie super left-wing yes but i think he also feels that way about like cancel culture and shit yeah he genuinely is like we need to cut this shit out yeah we have bigger a lot of people have been like climate change yeah (laughs) way more important shit i don't even i mean we can discuss is there (laughs) here's my thing about all this climate change shit is that like it's december human beings we don't solve problems that are in the future. We're really good at solving problems. They just have to be happening now. We need urgency. Urgency. Mm. That's how we survive. We're all about urgency, mm. right? So once the climate change actually hits some places we give a fuck about, we don't care about Nineveh in the top of Canada, <laughs> right? We don't care about the South Pole. Yeah. Once it actually hits Jersey, once it hits <laughs> LA, if it hits Malibu, well, if we get another hurricane, then we gotta we gotta do something. Not we if gotta. it hits, not if it hits Jersey. If if we a hurricane, that tropical storm like fucked this up, and that was just like, eh. yo, people were at the shore the next summer, dude. <laughs> it didn't stop. Oh yeah, the, next the reality yeah. show, yeah. let alone New Jersey. It fucked up. It fucked up like the R train deep in Brooklyn. Yeah. Come on, yo, we never cared about that. Come on, yo, we don't care about Canarsie. Exactly. Sorry, if it doesn't go there, it doesn't go there. So the <laughs> okay. point is. It's true. So the point is, once it actually affects us, I guarantee we'll find a way to throw some shit in the sky, cool things down, heat things up, whatever like we need to do. Don't Dead ass? Close I promise you we will solve it. <laughs> Send a bunch of oil drillers up to the moon. Simple as that. I have, I have 100% confidence whenever there's a real... That's the problem. That's the thing with Elon Musk is this motherfucker's trying to solve problems that aren't here yet. Like the electric car, you're like, we're eventually we're going to run out of oil. Well, until then... <laughs> Vroom vroom. Boil it up. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not. <laughs> hold up, though. Hold up. We, hold on now. We this Tesla owners, yo. Yeah, you got to. Yo, <laughs> yo, we are Tesla owners, bro. We are Tesla owners, bro. Come Come on, yo. owners, bro. You got the new Tesla, dude? Yeah, of course. Bro, like you got it. Yo, just buy it right now. It's a cyber truck looks fire. $100 deposit. You got to put 100 on it, dog. Refundable. $100. $100. Yes. Really? That's the truck. Yeah. Everybody sure. buy Teslas so right now. Wait, just wait, get wait, a wait, Tesla wait. again. Yeah, Alex, I, get a second car, dude. That truck is fire to me, bro. I want a new that truck. Shit. And that puts you, what, on the waiting list? It's no waiting list. It's yours, but if you want that money back, get that money back. Wait, wait. The wait, Tesla what? truck costs $100. No. What you is just the... put $100 down to flex on the gram. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, do so it. you do. Yo, <laughs> okay, I did it. I did it. I'm down. Okay, I'm down. Get a phone. Let's, go. Let's, let's order these it. Teslas. Yeah, let's I want right the Tesla now, gang. Yo. Listen, but they we're only doing it because it looks dope. Okay, we're not doing it to save the environment or because some Swedish you think the truck looks twat cool? said it. Some yes. Swedish I think it looks amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to live, live, live in the future. Yo. around the world. Have you, have you heard of yeah. Have you seen this? She's taken a catamaran around the whole world. She took a catamaran to Portugal. To complain about climate shit. Yeah. Son, I thought a catamaran was an instrument that white people play. I did not know that shit is a boat. First of all, white people don't play instruments. Asians do. Okay? <laughs> Second of all... Fuck you. Bro, they are nice with the violin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't say Violin, it. mandarin, whatever. 
Sure. <laughs> they love the Mandarin so much they named the language after it. And an orange. <laughs> Look, I hate the Star Wars shit. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Mandalorian. The Mandal- <laughs> Mandal- <laughs> no. That's just an Asian trying to learn English. <laughs> Mandalorian. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just don't. I think... I think that Louie really hit on something with the with the uh, Parkland kids that he made a great point that everybody wasn't ready for yet, which is like, why are we listening to kids? And we don't need to listen to kids about literally anything, not about the environment, <laughs> not about guns, not about none of that shit. Mm. Like if kids say anything except that someone's fucking molesting them. We don't need to listen to them. That's the <laughs> only thing we should listen to kids about ever. I'm being molested, and then we go, okay. It is true. You don't yeah. know anything, most kids. There's like 1% geniuses out there, like 0.1% geniuses out there. This girl the rest is of you don't know anything. One. I think she's retarded or like she's something, right? She has something. <laughs> what is she doing in the ocean, though? Is she cleaning up the plastic or is the bitch just moving? Bro, because she, she doesn't want to use gas. Yeah. So she's taking a catamaran. But well, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a symbolic can you, can you gesture. A like she's supposed to be like. It's almost like fucking like it's Forrest Gump running this, around this the is, world. Where it's like, weird. oh, look at this the the triumph of the human spirit. If this, we can all be like this. Child, white people got the oddest then, ways to raise fund, like to raise awareness and funds. Like, hey, let's have a two thousand dollar a plate dinner. Yes, to save the dump ice black water on ourselves. Yeah, <laughs> let's put ice water on ourselves. It's such an odd. Look, fucking, yeah. We're fucking trying. What are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're not pretending to give a fuck. <laughs> Which is much better. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. No, people? Real think, talk. White people are not the ones ruining the environment. That's what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Time out. It's uh, Asians, bro. He's, he's correct about is this, it but Asians? I'm not going to speak does on it. Does it use <laughs> that much gas to make neuters? What's going on? Yeah, it does. Bro. For six billion people, it does. There's literally no ozone layer. <laughs> ozone rare? There's no ozone rare? <laughs> There's no ozone rare. <laughs> because of neuters. Dude, t- it's something about it, bro. It's something Fuck. about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. But real talk. Black people didn't build those fucking Simpsons nuclear towers. No, I don't think <laughs> Africa's fucked up. <laughs> no, nah, we're good. Yet. No, the nuclear towers should... are not hurting us. No. Well, no, nuclear tower is good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As long it's as there's no Chernobyl. Fossil fuel and okay. It's inside. All we're right. talking China's fucking shit up. Yeah. India. Yes, probably fucking Sam, shit. We don't up. give a fuck I'm about the bad. environment. Yeah, everyone's yo. going back to Africa. I know this. <laughs> we don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm aware of this, but yeah. the Asians actually don't give a fuck more than you guys. Okay, because really? no, they're, they're industrialized. Close. They're close. Are they're they close? India and India and India don't. China. Are, China or India is really fucking. When you go to India, really, with I'm gonna try to take that. you at some point soon. Yeah, it's, you're gonna be like, oh, this fucking is. It's smog everywhere, son. There's not a lot of fresh yeah, air. Bro, you got yeah. you got to be you gotta, catching up. You could come back an environmentalist. Every time I go back to India, I'd be quiet about it because I don't want to be annoying. But every time I come back, like, yo, we got to recycle. So here's my question. <laughs> <laughs> recycle. We got recycle. We got recycle. So oh, God. here's my question. Why doesn't the Swedish girl float her ass to China or India and tell them to do it if we're doing it right why is she telling us aren't we doing it right over here i'm being i'm not trying to joke around at all why or clean up the plastic along the way yo like do something don't just sail huh you in the ocean it's mad plastic in the ocean clean that shit up no i think the whales eat all the plastic <laughs> that's another thing about the whales eating the plastic it cleans it up they don't have to but live forever. The whale. They're, they're recycling that's we don't the recycling. Need whales Bro, what do they do? They do nothing. They, they you know suck. What, you know what they do? <laughs> they do that sonar shit which has got to annoy the yeah. fuck out of all the other mm-hmm. animals. Yeah. Imagine you're just trying to swim around peacefully and then you have this... Are meh, 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 you meh. talking about black people right now? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, the where's the black people? Yeah, yeah, the ocean, there, bro. Bro. Well, 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 like the first dude, two slobs. Just kill it. You said kill it. He said 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 it. Signs with their dorsal well, like fin and Big trust. Swoop dorsal fin. Tilikum. That tilikum, bro. Real talk, tilikum, man. Tilikum, tilikum, That shit is, oh, that shit is yammy game, bro. Dude, it's, it yeah, is a bad. Is, is seventh cavalry whales and so, shit? So you really are the watchman, huh? Yeah, watchman's a watchman, bro. Watchman like ain't bad. Show, bro. I'm, I'm trying to get into it. Point That's being, a lot. That's a lot to do. Point being. Point being. There's places where she could go that would be more effective. Why isn't she going there? Because she don't really care. It's, people don't really care. It's a marketing ploy. 
That's what they do now. They take kids. They make kids do all the arguments for them because you can't tell kids to shut up. <laughs> right? So the gun control, they're like, we got to get rid of guns. They're like, And then we're like, shut the fuck up. And then they go, all right, you kids that got shot up, say, get rid of guns. We're like, oh, we'll listen to you. Well, they basically did tell them to shut the fuck up. Say what? They basically did tell them to shut the fuck up. Which ones? They, they like never told gun, the kids. Like with gun control? Louis did. Come on. They, they, like, they had like, what's, what's the one girl? The bald chick. I was like doing all the fucking speeches and shit. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, remember. like when they 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 haven't changed shit. Yo, there was like, oh, okay. This is there's nice. one kid. So Alex and I More did a, a fashion video in Boston where mm. we shot. Yeah, uh, uh, Jack, <laughs> Jack Burke, shot to Jack, where we shot him with these fake guns at the end. Yeah. And one of the Parkland kids uh, followed me and liked it. That's and he was like fashion, the Kyle Kush. No kid. shit, yeah, that kid likes me too. Kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, like the most Trump that yeah. was in Parkland. Yeah, <laughs> that nobody talks about. <laughs> Literally, the end of the video is us shooting him as he runs away. Yeah, and the kid was like fashion, dude. That kid, uh, I forget his name, but he's uh, Kyle like, Kushev. He's like met the press. He like yeah. hangs out at the White House now. <laughs> shit. Yeah. He's like, you know what would have helped us at Parkland? Guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that kid rules. Has anybody asked them how to survive a, a school shooting? True. They would know. Just don't. Oh, now be you want to listen to them. I, I, I <laughs> would. I, say, I would go. like. You, how did you make it? What did you do different? That's it's what I would w. know. You saw it happen. What did you do? You didn't go. Put down your weapons, right? It was like there there was what did you do to keep yourself safe? Did you just get lucky he didn't enter your room? What yeah. happened? Was Parkland the one where there was the security guard that didn't go in? Yes. <laughs> he was out, dude. I, I also I would have talked to him too. Give oh, him yeah, some credit guy. for sitting out back and be like, Nope. No. <laughs> no. But I think they arrested him, right? Yeah, yeah, they like, yeah, you gotta yeah. get fucking arrested for that. You have one job. You have one job in case there's a school shooting. You, you are go strapped. in there. Well, yeah. You could end this right now. He's, he's like, like, yo, I don't know about that. Security guard sitting in a golf cart out back. He's, he's like, is everyone safe? Y'all are good? Everybody. Your shots. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I gotta get in there. Or I don't. <laughs> or, you know, or you just roll the dice on this. <laughs> just not no, wait, Just in. hear me out. Just hear me out, guys. Hear me out, guys. What if I, what if I just <laughs> don't go in? Maybe you'll get tired. I'm securing the perimeter. I'm securing the perimeter. Make sure none of them. Oh, none, my God. There's not any more of them coming in. <laughs> I don't get paid for interior securing. <laughs> I mean, how much do you think he was getting paid? Uh, honestly, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yo, all right, you lost forty grand. Like, what were you really making? Son, you ain't getting nothing, but it's just the one fucking requirement. It's all you got. Look, I'm not actually defending the guy. It I mean, it's like a teacher. Like, he heard the first shot. He was like, no, no, not today. No, not today. Did I even bring the bullets today? He wasn't even prepared. Dude, he must have been bragging all his friends. Like, yo, I have the easiest job. <laughs> in the world. Dude, there's no chance. Who shoots up a school? There's no chance. <laughs> there's like two a year. You know how many fucking schools there are? <laughs> Never going to be mine. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. He's, just, fuck, fuck. He's sitting in a golf cart. CSNL, <laughs> these are the sketches you missed. Okay? You could have had these. Been he could have been sketch. the security guard. True. Oh, my God. Yo, you'd have been sick after a while. Like You'd have been like, yo, all I'm playing is racist. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Even if there was no scandal. Man, every time I got dip in my mouth in a scene, it's starting to get a little crazy. <laughs> they would have made you look like a fucking idiot in every sketch. Bro, they would have made you white coon. Yeah. yeah. Well yeah. said. Yeah. Snow coon. Perhaps. Snow, snow coon. coon. Can't mm. snow coon, bro. Snow coon Schulte is still my favorite nickname. <laughs> <laughs> You've ever had ever called me. They called me a snow coon. <laughs> 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 That's pretty great. Ever, That's pretty great. I had it on my Instagram handle so for a while. Cool Ooh, like, who called you? That? So good. Some guy on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Is that guy rules? Dude, he's <laughs> hilarious. It was the most funny thing. I, and he like sent a picture of a raccoon in the snow. It was like, a whole gif and everything with it. And I was like, it's amazing. I put it on my Instagram and. Uh, MTV or I bet he stopped hating you after that. Some network was like, was yeah, like, yeah. you can't you have can't. the word coon in your Instagram bio. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, all right, all right good point. All right, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm gonna point again. Ah, gentlemen, Akash, what do we got for today? We haven't even talked about anything. Um, well, since we are recording this episode early, Schultz is going to be uh, out of town next week. I'm going to be in India for the next two weeks doing engagement stuff and shows. So we did like um, evergreen stuff was the idea. Yes. So the ones I like, I like the greatest sports what ifs. Um, we could do flagrant hypotheticals. We Did we all do our flagrant thoughts? Bro, there's... Um 
There's a, no, I don't think so just yet, but there was one that you said that was so funny. What the fuck? The fun most embarrassing it? rejection story from a girl? Yes. Yeah. And ugliest girl you're still weirdly attracted to, I loved. His, <laughs> historical crime family that you want to be, but most embarrassing rejection you've ever had with a girl. I think that is. <laughs> I think that is. Have you ever gotten rejected by a girl, Shane? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> most. most uh, yeah. What most embarrassing? Uh, I don't know if there's a particular. I can't. Uh, I mean, I just thought not of a it specific off the top one. Of my head. No. Not. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Uh, about right. sixth grade. <laughs> Taking it back. Sixth grade. Yeah. Now I know you're thinking like, yeah, it's not going to be. It is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not like a modern thing. Uh, yeah, sixth yeah. grade. I wrote. I was obsessed with this girl. Yeah. And. For some reason, like sixth grade, I loved God. That was the only time in my life for like one year. I was super like, religious. I was like, Catholicism rules. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I fucking wrote her. It's usually around the time that boys like God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Oh, God. I wrote. A... Somehow they lose it right around. The end. <laughs> yeah, once I started coming, I was like, get God out of here. <laughs> Fuck this. I thought it's once the day start coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I don't know if it was you. Uh, and we all came. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of you don't know this, but the, the kids the kids come too. Uh, they're, passionate, they're passionate lovers. Yeah, this is a, yeah. I wanted to be on the record that the kids there is a G spot in there. <laughs> they can hit you. They can hit the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Priests get you. They'll, oh fuck. Uh, uh. Yeah, and I wrote this yeah, fucking. Dude, there's a, there's a G <laughs> spot so in there, bro. There is. Then they G get store it. For, store for Jesus. No. Jesus. <laughs> it's the J spot. Uh I wrote a fucking love letter to this chick, like a note, like mm -hmm. if you want to start dating, and I included a Bible verse wow. at the end of it. Which one? I'm going to pretend I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 Say it, dude. You know. No, it was from, uh, it's called Song of Songs. Do you remember it? I don't remember the verse. I'm going to look it Song up. Song of Songs is the corniest shit. It's like your tits are nice. They, they, like, <laughs> it's like an Old Testament like song about fucking. <laughs> and uh, don't look it up. I'm looking at this. Up. Is, I have this to is, look it up now. Why would I? Exp I'm trying to tell you a no, nice. Follow. We're, we're still here. Uh, so then she didn't even get it. My my friends immediately took it out of her desk. <laughs> and when I got to school the next day, they were waiting, Just destroying you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. I still had. They all forgot about it. I never. I'll never forget that. Of course. Of course. That was you the worst. <laughs> Hold on. I need to get this. That's I what made you stop loving God. I knew I was wrong as soon as they found it. As soon as they <laughs> found it, I was like, "Damn, I suck." <laughs> Let yeah, him, I can't get let him. Where is kiss it? me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine. Your anointing look, oils. Look, I didn't quote that exactly. <laughs> that's well, a long fucking this is book. Like, but yes, that's this the, like gist. The, the, the that's the gist, gist of yeah, it. Yeah. 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 Uh, for your love is better than wine. Your anointing oils are fragrance. Your name is perfect. I sound like a fucking Indian guy out. online. <laughs> Therefore, yeah, in the comment wrong. section, <laughs> I was an Indian guy in the comment section. In yeah, yeah, every every I was Instagram like, your love money. is like sweet wine. Holy be fuck. my wife. <laughs> yeah, it's rough. This it's is kind of this is a little. This, it's rough. This is a bit much. Let, let him <sighs> kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for thy love is better than wine. Because of the savior of thy good ointment, <laughs> thy on. name I didn't write it as ointment. I didn't write it out. What you write out? The Therefore, you write do the, the virgins like, love like, thee. Song, song, I don't look. Draw me. We will go run to somebody else's. Me. <laughs> the king <laughs> has brought me into his chambers. Wow. Yeah, it was rough. Sixth grade, you. Yeah, look, this is pre 9/11. <laughs> That's how long ago this is. <laughs> I'll apologize for this. I'm more sorry about this than anything I've done in After my past. That was all Quran verses. <laughs> <laughs> if I yeah, won't yeah. have you now, I'll have you in the afterlife. After that, the Quran verse. Yeah, I saw 9/11 and converted. I was like, you know what? These oh guys might be God. onto something. These guys. Click <laughs> and click. That would actually throw the liberals off. They'd be like, wait, what the fuck? Wait, he's Muslim? <laughs> Can we cancel him? Yeah. Um, Kaz, best uh, or worst re rejection, most embarrassing rejection. Oh, God. Hmm. I can't. I'll tell you. I said I love you to a girl, and she said I like you. <laughs> <laughs> it was tough. And it was my girlfriend. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, wow. I was in um, high school, probably. It was either junior or se maybe it was senior year of high school. Mm -hmm. And I said I love you. In fr I remember going into my apartment. We were going into my apartment. So I was, thought I would set the mood outside of my apartment. And I typed in the code to open the door. And I stopped the door. And I was like, hey, I just want to let you know I love you. Ooh. And she looked at me in my face. And then she's like, whew. <laughs> wow. 
Uh, I mean, I like you. <laughs> and I paused there for so long that the, the door <laughs> code reset. Had reset. So I tried to open the door and I got rejected by the oh fucking door God. as well. <laughs> so just, she slammed the door oh love my in God. my face and then my apartment <laughs> building apartment slammed like, oh, the door as well. <laughs> Nobody wants oh you today. Damn. I don't want like that. I called this girl because I was on vacation and I had been dating this chick and I liked her a lot. And yeah. I called her and I was about to, I was, bragging about her to my friends the whole time i was like oh, me and this girl she's so fucking hot i yeah. love her all this yeah. shit i called her at night thinking like this will be nice yeah. she was like i was like hey what's up she was like do you think we rushed into this i was like, <laughs> oh. I was like yeah yeah we did let's yeah. just be friends yeah. <laughs> i hung up <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck just happened <laughs> Oh it was funny. God. I didn't put up any flight at all. She's like, "You think we rushed in this?" I was like, Shh, "Yeah." <laughs> I don't That's like why you. I was calling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's uh, stop the show for a second because I have to tell you guys about something very, very important. Um, I think I might have found the solution to to breakfast. No bullshit. I think I might have found the solution to breakfast when I was a kid. Obviously, breakfast was cereal. I turned into an adult, and I found out I was just ingesting hundreds of grams of sugar before I went to school, and then I was shocked that I couldn't pay attention at all, and people said I had things like ADHD. No, I didn't have ADHD. I had Frosted Flakes. That's what I had, okay? I had Cocoa Puffs. I had Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what you have that makes you not able to function as a child in school, okay? Well, they fix that. There's a company called Magic Spoon, and it's a cereal company, and they've sent me four boxes of cereal. They have zero sugar, okay? 12 grams of protein, only three grams of net carbs, okay? I got all four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. I'm telling you, the, the, the cereal is delicious. I was snacking on it myself, just digging my hand into that blueberry one. It was, it was unbelievable, I probably ate half of the box. And I'm eating this, and I'm like, how the hell is there no sugar? How the hell is this almost zero carbs? How the hell is it keto-friendly? How the hell is it gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free? How is this possible, okay? I've been promised by Magic Spoon, they are not lying, it is 100% sincere. Breakfast has been solved. Use whatever milk you want. You like regular milk, you go regular milk. You like an oat, you go oat, okay? You like a 2%, you like an almond, you like a soy, you do whatever you want to do. Go to magicspoon.com slash flagrant. You grab a variety pack and you try it today. Be sure to use our promo code flagrant at the checkout and you know what, you get free shipping. You get free shipping along with all those health benefits and something to eat in the morning. Go to magicspoon.com slash flagrant. Magic, Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's back with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they're gonna refund your money, no questions asked. Did you just hear that? Buy the cereal. They're so confident you're gonna like it, they'll give you your money back if you don't. That's magicspoon.com slash flagrant. Use the code flagrant for free shipping. Magic Spoon, thank you so much for sponsoring Flagrant 2. And keep sending me those free boxes, okay? Because I'm going to keep eating, especially that blueberry. That thing was delicious. All right, back to the show. Oh, All right, guys, geez. what do you got for us? I, I know you I got something. I'm thinking, man. Like, I, got, I, have, I got two. I One nice is not drink. rejection, right, but it's so fucking sad in retrospect. All right, go. I was fat and ugly as a kid. Like, right. I yeah, fucking... Yeah, you give off that vibe. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> problem dude it was like a fucking <laughs> hamster got let loose in the high school yeah. like and drank the ninja Tur turtles shit but didn't get muscle <laughs> and i was the kid that the girls were like pretending they liked like this guy was like yo this girl likes you blah 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 <sighs> this is oh, almost cool. worse this oh, is almost no. wor this oh. is at the, i was that guy by the at, way this is almost worse i was so <laughs> aware of the fact that there's no way she liked me that i like played along with the joke i don't remember if i was like nah she ugly or if i was like Oh, really? Yeah, we should date, like, sarcastically. But in retrospect, that's almost worse that you're that aware of your ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you're just like, it's gotta be a joke. Yo, stop it. Ain't no bitch like me. <laughs> that's tough. Yeah, and that's tough. Consequently, the first time I liked a girl, but, like, after girls started liking me, but I actually like one back, she didn't like me back. And it was like, you remember the opening scene of Hitch? Like, what made him become Hitch? Mm. Is he was like his first girlfriend. He was just like all clingy, always trying to be around her, always calling. I was like that, but the girl never liked me. 
<laughs> so I got yeah, just yeah. constantly texting, and she's like, "Bro, what you want, yo? Leave me alone." What would you text? I, don't, I think I'll just try to hang out. Then at one point, Send I tried Bob's, to be friends uh, with her. <laughs> Send pic of Bob's. Send pussy pics. Sex. <laughs> No, it was just like trying to hang out all the time. Yeah. And it was Bobs like, or boots? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never I'm see Indian, Indian, guy, Indian, Indian guy on comments? Yo, Indian his comments. comment is fire, but none of y'all get it. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Anytime, get it. Yeah, anytime yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a pretty girl, and I see it because Indians will find Indians. They're just <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. marry me, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I want to love you forever. Sex in vagina? <laughs> sex you sex me yeah but I was like constantly like, yo you wanna go see a movie and she's yeah. like I'm busy and never was I like oh she's just busy for you never did that yeah. click that I was I was mad Indian actually yeah. early on and then I was like hey, Indian. And I was like oh you can't hey, you mad thirsty yo my man I need some some wine hopefully white and not red cause I was thirsty boy All right, oh, yeah, you gotta have something I got one but it's like it's not great because it's like I always shot within my range. So like I never was like I never like overshot my shot, but there was right. this one time there was a girl, she was like all right looking, but she was thick. So I like one to ten, she's like a five. Yeah, yeah. Five or six. So three. And then, you know, we're we're messing around, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And then like for like a couple days, <laughs> right. like literally like a week after like we like messed around for the first time, <laughs> she pretty much told me like I was like too ugly for her in like so many ways. And I'm like I came down for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <What the fuck? laughs> like I was not like I was. I mean, I, I I had women, but I never really like shot for the dimes until How did I got she like word that How in did college she word and that? shit. She's basically just like you know, like you gotta understand. I grew up in Staten Island, so yeah. like you know, I was like one of maybe like four black guys in my school, right? right? So like it was almost like she. I knew the type of dude she was into, and she was just like, I just wasn't that guy. And she was just like, oh, well, you know, I like, kind of am into like Brad, whoever the fuck it was. And like, she liked white guys. She liked white guys. I think she, I was just like one of her like little experiments. Right. And like, I got played on like a cosmetic level. And I'm just like, yo, I came down for you. Like, I, yeah. I've, I've had Did better beat, looking though? girls. Like, no, I was in like middle school. Ah, well, like, it doesn't count. That sucks if you But still, beat. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had a pretty good, I had a pretty good run after high school and college. Like, I was, you know. Yeah. I can't. I can't but we don't want to hear about the good shit. Yeah. Like, we've we all here. Can I tell Son. one of Alex's? Dude, oh, Alex be uh, shooting his shot, bro. Mm. I was we were at this club in LA once. Oh, and no, Alex was, <laughs> there's this girl with us, and she's uh she used to play volleyball, she's about like five eleven. <laughs> and Alex is like a strong five, what, nine? No, nah, five ten. Let's say he's a strong five and ten nine, you know? <laughs> and uh, and this girl was five eleven plus she had heels on. Mm. And Alex had been trying to hit on her the whole the night and it really wasn't going that well. And I know <laughs> I, I looked at him <laughs> hitting on her and Alex was standing on a stair. <laughs> <laughs> he was standing on a stair with one foot with his knee locked so he was the height <laughs> of the stair right but his other foot was on his tippy toe on the ground the regular <laughs> level so he kind of looked like a flamingo almost like one of his legs bent and he was hitting on her hard bro in her ear coming down from above <laughs> Shout out oh, to man. Teresa, man. How'd it go? <laughs> oh, damn. Damn, you put names out there? It's the first yeah. names, bro. It's yeah. first. Oh, man. Oh, um, gosh. You better not have nobody named Teresa come around lately. Anyway, Jesus. but uh, but Al, do you have another one? I mean, that was a good one. We could stop there. <laughs> but, no, you probably got a good one. Hold on. I fucking gave a Bible verse story. All right. All right. This one's really fun. Thank you. Right. So um, this is high school girlfriend. I kind of got caught cheating and not kind of. <clears throat> I definitely did. And we went on a college tour trip, and I got drunk on the trip. This is uh, Confessions just came out, Usher's album. Oh boy! So I got oh, drunk, going. and I was oh, singing wow. songs from Confessions at the top of my lung outside her window of the girls' dorm, trying to get her back. Didn't work at all. Now Alex is a really good voice. Oh, yeah, uh, that makes does. it worse, kind of. Really yeah, that voice. makes it worse. Which songs were you singing? Confessions. Uh, probably Burn or I don't know. Oh, my oh God. You can't sing the Let It Go song. <laughs> oh, I Burn's about I don't staying remember. broken up. That's true. Let It Burn. So probably Confessions. It was a, it was a yeah. bad song choice. Can you, yeah. can yeah. you yeah. sing nah, the song? should have gone A701 when he was yeah. in love with Chili. That'd have got it. Hold on. Yeah, but Confessions just came out. It was hold slapping. On, on. I was like, oh, I'm going to get him with a bopper. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did you go part one or part two? 
Uh, probably part two. Al, part can two you song please song. sing the nah, song? Come nah, on, we'll, we'll, nah, we'll do backup. We'll do backup. I'm not right there. Girlfriend. <laughs> Every time I was in, I told you, baby, I'm working. No, I was, I was out doing my dirt. Oh, one thing about you getting hurt. And a hand in the instead of like man, I'm giving a damn who sees me. Al, you better come in on the show. I feel like I didn't have you sitting at home thinking about me. Okay, girl, that's all. You probably got a good man. You know, I never do the things I'm about to tell you I've done. Brace yourself, it ain't good. But I'm a beating bird. Have you heard this from someone else? Someone else. <laughs> Uh, he trailed off like a stepbrother. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all just left me out there. So. <laughs> just like she did. Oh, my God. Oh, man. You gave up on yourself. Yeah. That's it. Uh, <laughs> so that song is still traumatized. Still traumatized. <laughs> I get it. I'm in the oh. studio, man. That's <laughs> shit <laughs> from the intro. Oh. Wow. Um, Damn. My gosh. What are we at right now? Uh, 137. Um, listen, Shane, I want you to give them, give them everything. Give them your socials. Yeah. Hopefully you guys who didn't understand Shane have a better understanding of Shane. Um I don't, think I, I don't think I did myself any favors <laughs> on this one. You did prove you're funny. That's good, the most good. important If there's thing. one thing that good. we value on this podcast, Asshole Army values, it is humor. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if if they see you as a funny person, all of a sudden they see the rest of the shit that is said in that yeah. context. I think that's very good. But uh, yeah, tell them about the podcast. Tell them your socials. Uh, stuff. It's Matt and Shane Secret Podcast. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Shane M. Gillis. And go to ShaneMGillis.com for tour dates. And what do you got coming up? Now, this comes out next week. Okay. So that means I'm at in Worcester, Mass, at the Woo Ha Ha Comedy Club, the mm -hmm. 13th and 14th. Mm -hmm. 20th and 21st of December, I'll be at Good Nights in Raleigh, North Carolina. Great, Great club. club. 27th, 28th, <laughs> I'll be in McGooby's in Baltimore. That sounds uh, so racist. Nah. McGooby's. <laughs> McGooby's. And January 10th and 11th, I'll be at Helium Buffalo. Ah, good. Seventeenth, eighteenth of January, Stress Factory in New Brunswick. Yep. Twenty fourth, twenty fifth, Comics Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Thirtieth through the first, Bridgeport Stress Factory in Connecticut. Great, great, yeah. great, great. All right, so go check out Shane. I appreciate you coming down, man. No, I appreciate yeah, man. you guys. Good. I think fun. you got some good stuff coming out, man. I can't wait till you drop some more stand up. I know I was following when the whole saga went on. I was following. Uh, you had a clip I think Comedy Central put out. Yeah, and I would f I was following that clip. I was like, are they going to see if he's funny? Mm. Yeah, because that what was important to me. It was like, I, okay, I understand that you don't like him, but if you go watch the clips, you're curious to see if he's funny or not. Yeah, and that clip really went up. Yeah, I think it would probably start around like a hundred something, and now I don't know where the fuck it is. It does kind of suck though, because that was a Comedy Central five minute clip. Right, like it's not my, it's not. It's Comedy it's Central. It's better so it's than cut stuff out of it. Yeah, of course. Like, Comedy you can't Central say this. It's better Comedy than Central the podcast, bro. Better true, than the true. Podcast. It is better than that clip, step for up. sure. But uh, I'm I'm excited for you to you know share some of the stuff that uh, that I've seen. I hope that yeah. you start you know putting yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. out in some I'm way, working shape, on that. or form. We'll I'm talk. Working on that. We'll yeah, talk. I need Anything help I can that. do to help you out, you know I'm here for you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for coming on, man. Really thank appreciate you, you, my brother. Yeah, Guys, this has been another episode of Flagrant Two. No, no easy buckets. Keep it tight. Peace.